Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to more Bushroad Rumble Online 2023 action. And of course, you are now here for day two of the standard format in which we will be crowning our first champion between the three regions. We are going to be your casters for today, same as yesterday. Myself, different fight, joined by WCC Kai and Professor Amar. How are you guys doing, Kai? Good morning. Whew, it's been pretty good. It's been pretty crazy weekend, I have to say. Lots of BRO going on. Uh, lots of Wallistas and Gandivas. And uh, maybe not so much in Europe, but yeah, it should be pretty crazy this final day of standard. Amar, what do yep. you think? Uh, well, judging from the first day of BRO rounds that we had, yeah, um, the Willista prophecy is coming true, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Willistas all around, my goodness. And that's no, true. no Gandivas in EU. That's What happened? Uh, they, they can't survive the cold? What's happening? <laughs> It's yeah, really hot there, right? <laughs> You're really hot, right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty warm. I was like, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that, you know, we have kind of Gandiva as the most popular top 8 deck only in this region. Whereas NA showed us 5 Alyssa, 2 Gandiva, and the 1 Zorg <laughs> kind of like the lineup that I think a lot of people expected to do really well. And then EU gives us the 3 Willistas with 2 Jets, which again, you know, we expect Jet to do relatively well mm. too. The one Zorga, the one Messiah, which I think is quite surprising. Mm. And the one Eva to still kicking in there, still showing <laughs> that she's got it. To st stick around with the big dogs for another format. But of course, on our side, we're going to have a very interesting lineup of decks. And we're going to show you every single deck list as well for the top eight. So you can look forward to that as we're going to break it all down between our eight players. But first, let's take a look at the uh, format for today that we're going to be playing through and just so everyone is kept up to date of what is going to be going on. So yesterday we had eight rounds of Swiss, a uh, best of one throughout the entirety of Saturday, in which players duked it out in order to determine who the best eight players are who remain to play it out in day two for the top prizes here in the top eight of best of one format as well. So it's been a lot of exciting action. And of course, if you're watching this live, uh, then you know you can only catch it live, but the VODs will eventually go up on the official YouTubes and you'll be able to review these matches in the future as well. So if you were in stream or your friends were in stream, then you can also do that too. But of course, uh, we also have our little schedule, which, you know, we're kind of at the end of the schedule for this weekend, but it's still, you know, fun time for a lot of the other regions. Mm -hmm. But there's still another BRO coming up, Kai, right? Yeah, the final BRO, we have premium. That's coming up all the way in November, pretty much just before the end of the BCS season. So it's like the uh, the icing on the cake, you know, just before uh, Worlds usually. And uh, yeah, so if you're uh, if you're into premium, make sure to to look out for the announcements. Get ready, two days as usual, and uh, it should be really interesting to see what players are bringing in for that event because premium right now is. The, uh, the wild, wild west. Anything can happen. Anyone can have a crazy idea and try and make it work. So this is the time, right? But apart from that, we have the prizes that the players are playing for today. Let's swap it to Amar. What do we have? Thank you, Kai. So as we've mentioned yesterday, the winner for today is looking at the, well, undisputed four winner PR card. Yeah, it's the Chrono Jet. I'm sure everyone who plays premium as well, you'd want to get your hands on these babies. Beautiful, beautiful, and of course, bragging rights all around. You will also get the one booster display and a certificate by Bushiro. Second place card gets you two winner PR card, one booster display, one certificate. The third place, you know, don't think we forgot about you. You have to fight to the death. Yeah, third and fourth. <laughs> the difference is in that one winner PR card, one booster display, and of course, this certificate, which the fourth place will also be getting, minus the winner card and the booster display. Yeah, but you'll get a pat on the back virtually by us casters here. <laughs> that is yep, right. Yep. So yeah, so those are the prizes. That is the stakes. That the players are fighting for and so it's exciting this entire year vro has been jet prizes you had 
the premium jet, mm -hmm. standard jet, and then premium jet premium for the premium jet. prizes as well. <laughs> so lots of nice prizes, and of course, on top of that, um, premium will be interesting because we'll, we will have some results already going into it, you know, just from the, you know, actual BCS season itself. Mm -hmm. So see how that impacts it too. So lots of things to look forward to, but let's take a look at our eight players that have made it to day two and what they are bringing through our little bracket here in order to see who is going to be playing against who and how they've made it here. So at the top of the bracket here, we have Wait Ogandiba, who's going to be mm. going up against JY. And then on the second top eight match, we have June versus Paris. And then Kai, I mean, this whole top eight is, is actually truly AO. We don't have any invaders this year. Give us a breakdown <laughs> yeah. of the, the rest of the top eight. <laughs> Yeah, that's a. I think that's a first, right? Usually, I think last that is time, a first. Yeah. Last time, Air was was dominated by a. Well, usually it's the American. <laughs> they, they come right. They come down or uh, Mr. Vect, right? <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. But this time, it's just gonna be the the full. Uh, I think it's also all in SEA. Let's see. So yeah, Southeast mm -hmm. Asia sh showdown. Um, should be quite interesting. Yeah. Genix and Smurf, then we've got the team, or the, the Philippine country kill, right? Effortless and DJ <laughs> fighting each other. But that that's actually great, right? Because it confirms that you have a Philippine player in the top four. So, uh, yep. mm. just, I, I, I guess the first first place as well, right? So, yeah, we, we have a pretty good lineup going in, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what Absolutely. we're looking at here is that oh the singapore team kill is happening up there as well but if you look at it yeah from nationality alone top eight half of it is singapore <laughs> that's right oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> true, true. That, powerful they've become they've they've managed to chase off all the all the na and eu invaders defend the region not a single ao as well it's very impressive so overall a very cool bracket lots of familiar names as well mm -hmm. but you know, we have familiar names, but let's take a look at these deck lists and what these players are bringing to the table. We're going to go from top to bottom and go through every single list. So first we have Wait O Gandiva, who, whoa, it's not Gandiva, it's actually <laughs> Protojet. So, yep, it's a pretty cool list. Uh, runs the one Crucial Dragon that I think is pretty cool. You can kind of just find it off of the ride line if you want it. Mm -hmm. Gives you an extra removal option, which is pretty good in the Willista format. And on top of that, of course, you have a couple of tech grade one slots that we see. You know, some people are playing higher copies of other cards like the Argandia with the, or, you know, the Bali. But here we're playing the one Jewel Core, the one Ling as well. So that kind of gives you a bit more things to access from your upstream and also just other early game tools to make sure you have enough soul to be using your GGs quite regularly. So it's a cool little jet list. And of course, it is our only jet in the <laughs> top eight as well. Yep, yep. And we saw this on stream very very strong jet still still yeah. you know, hanging out with the big boys so i quite <laughs> like it uh we've gone to the next list though right got a few here we've got jy with uh gandiva so one of the few that made it through uh it's running the uh, four boson right i remember mm. you know the the trend was to cut down on boson quite a lot uh but you know sticking with the the four and the uh also the the two media flare only any any thoughts on this list sorry pretty standard i suppose i mean it's a bit different than what we're used to yeah usually maxing out on the i mean i don't know about other regions but malaysians in particular see they love maxing out with meteor flare dragon yeah <laughs> for mm. reasons unknown for reasons unknown <laughs> they they don't like ava right? <laughs> yeah they, they uh, don't like ava <laughs> it's a good call here because you know you don't have avas in the top eight so it yeah. should be pretty nice yeah it should be um, stabilized the next next one uh next list let's look at paris with the lone lorn roll <laughs> <laughs> yeah and like this is a deck that we kept seeing yesterday too i was actually quite surprised about it right so kept coming up on stream time and time again and also just like beating gandivas mm -hmm. just showing up pretty well yeah so the deck itself is i mean it's a strong guard district deck that has more persona rides than it used to and lots of ways to access those persona rides we see yuika in this list too which we didn't see in the previous one that we featured on stream yesterday so overall pretty good list we see so a little split on the on the counter heals too, just to kind of uh, give yourself an edge in certain matchups. But overall, I mean, Paris bringing the cat girls 
two top eight here <laughs> on Championship Sunday. It's pretty I good. Think, I, think, I think we did see Paris in, in the first round. The very we did, we first did. round. Yeah. Yeah. But then we saw another Lorne Earl player yeah, at like one point. Too. <laughs> so we're able to like just cl like you know from round one just able to keep on going. All right, isn't that incredible? Incredible journey. Yep. Yeah. Incredible journey. <laughs> uh, moving on, let's go to the next list. Uh, we have June, yeah. the other Gandiva, it seems, right? Mm -hmm. Running the more traditional Brachio Brachio Force. Force. Yeah. Also running the four Boson. What, what do you think, Chris? This is a, this has been yeah, so, largely phased out in Japan, right? Four. Yeah, the Boson has definitely played at fewer copies. It feels like we still see a lot more counter charges being played. I feel like you don't really, especially, you know, if you're running more of the Cycle cards or, or the Meteor Flare, I can kind of see it, right? You'll be using more CB. But in the more like Brachio heavy list, it's like the only CB you're mostly using is Gandiva. And I guess sometimes, you know, you're I mean, obviously Alpha Car is, is eating up the CB mm -hmm. too, but otherwise it's, you know, basically the grade two. And so you don't really overextend on CB that much. So I feel like it's possible to reduce it, but it is a free card that goes to Vine Zone. But keep in mind, it doesn't plus you, it doesn't generate advantage unlike the other cards do. And that's kind of the main reason why it's been cut down a little bit. But you know, June is the one here at the top eight. Yeah, the that's the thing, right? Yeah, that's what I want to say. I mean, there must be something that we don't see with this list if June has made it to top eight with this particular list. No hand size, no problem. Yeah, I'll just dish out the firepower, put on the pressure, <laughs> Gandiva old school beatdown style. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's a strong deck, it, and it's here for a reason. Yep. That's right, that's right. Next, let's look at. Uh, Genix is Zorga least. <laughs> mm. The lone Zorga. <laughs> no, I think this was it this... one or two two Zorgas. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll see soon. We'll see. we'll see it soon. We'll see it soon. Yes, but you know Zorga was we do definitely. Have two. Yeah, we we had we saw quite a few Zorgas yesterday as well on the stream mm -hmm. as well, right? Um, definitely a great pick if you don't like you know playing Ballista and you know Gandiva. It's very potent. If you like masks as well, literally the best masks. We also saw this one on stream. I remember this had like this yep. was the three uh, blitz order, uh, blitz order deck. So it's, we, we saw it used like once, but let's see like is it enough? Like do, do we really need to see three of it in the deck? How how strong is it? Right? What do you what do you all think? Well, the more the better. You know, I, I, you, you gotta yeah, you gotta be happy with with having Zorgas on board. Yeah, you, it makes the meta healthy in, in in that sort of way. Having yeah, the more order, the more you see it, the better it gets. But you know, we're just gonna skip over that to the next list here. Yeah, <laughs> well, we got, we got we got we got Mister Smurf right. We'll list Smurf, the yeah. most pretty pretty standard, I have to say. Um, it's been the, doing pretty. It's like the one of the best decks running. It's running the Rukius that I remember watching uh, DFs, DFs that was deck. That's big, right. Big fan. <laughs> big fan. Big fan. I think. Are you a big fan? I definitely agree on this. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I do agree on, on the choices. I think this is really nice. Also running the one Trixie just to kind of give you that emergency soul. Um, I think overall the list is very strong and like there's a reason why. You know, he is the only Ballista in this top eight, which is, Ooh. you know, you look at an A and it's kind of surprising. But at the same time, I think that this has the potential to go pretty far. Against Zorga, though, you know, in this Ooh. matchup, it might be a little bit tough just because um, you, you don't find your PGs early. You might just randomly get, you know, RPD'd. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Torpedo to death. Shows up at your door, you know, starts knocking pretty loud. <laughs> and uh, before you know it, it's already over. So it's going right. to be interesting to see how that one plays out and who manages to stand on top between Gen X and Smurf. But for our actual top eight feature match, we're going to be taking a look at the two Filipino players here and so let's begin with their deck lists and take a look at BZE's other Zorga list. So mm. I think you know we, we saw quite a bit of Zorga yesterday and you can see the little differences in approach. You see like things like the second the severing, you see things like the they both play four PGs with no blitz order which I think is interesting so the he one plays the one blitz here instead mm. of Zorga itself. We see things like the Forby doll and of course you know a couple more other slight increase in ratios of some of the orders just to make sure that you don't like lose access to the whole order just because it went to damage yeah yeah i i, I like both these lists i'm really keen on just seeing seeing the, the blitz order uh come into play <laughs> and uh, how, how how it impacts the matchups but yeah it's all got really 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 nice um but the 
Effortless. We also, this is also another interesting deck. Hexa Orb Hexa Aquamarine. Orb. We see we, we saw we saw effortless uh, effortlessly uh, destroy his opponent in the the final round of Swiss, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it was it was just it was just really really good to see, right? Just how the, how they like ran so swimmingly, and then all the triggers. Yeah, I think it should be a good match. What do you all think? I think it will be very interesting here. But then again, come on, we're all leading to Zorga, right? Hexa Orb. They've had their time. In, they've had their time in the sun. It's time for some under the world, uh, you know, under the sea <laughs> dominance. Yeah, I mean, lyrical aside, but still, regardless of that effortless list of Hexa Orb here, not only is it interesting, it's consistent. Yeah, it, and it's nice. consistent. Yeah, it's consistently beating all of their opponents as well. Something right here, you know, I, I'm loving the cup. I'm loving the Hexa Orbs. You know, there are multiple Persona rights going on. But still, you know, living it up to fate, you need to search out for the new Hexa Orb. Or otherwise, this is just going to be a lot of vanilla gaming. All right. Yep. Well, anything you want to add, Chris, before we jump into the game? Yeah. No, I mean, we, we ended off Effortless's list at the end of Swiss yesterday, and it showed us some pretty crazy moments. So I'm <laughs> looking forward to seeing it in top eight and seeing how far it's going to go. So let's get into it and see how this matchup between our two Filipino players in top eight is going to go down. It's going to be BZ versus Effortless. Let's see who starts. Oh, and here we go. They're waiting for the go signal. But, uh, Mm. If, if if Hexorb goes first, actually, crack. That's that's exactly what Hexorb <laughs> needs. But we actually think it's Zorga. Zorga. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty good. Get those RPDs up and running. Destroy Ooh, Effortless's which. hand. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 opening pretty good. If you discard a RPD, Rooming Prison Dragon, the first first turn, there you go. you're like you're winning. Mm. You know. For the most part, times. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and getting rid of that water as well. So just straight up plus is how how much is uh oh got the cycler. Effortless getting the cycler. Yeah, so this is gonna be pretty big in order to just start building up that hand nice and slow. We saw somebody even like you know passed yesterday to not give the CB to draw on turn two. So we'll see if that becomes repeated, but probably not. I mean, if you're going first, mm -hmm. usually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you just go, right? <laughs> I think right here, you just put up a big board and slam. Like, see how much damage you can push. <clears throat> Especially with RPD already in the drop, you just kind of like need something to, some order to play, and just then the mask um, in the get drop it back out. Well. <laughs> Ooh, get yeah. it back. So they got, so, so this is actually, yeah, this is a pretty good setup. You got two orders. Oh, no Ooh, rush. Actually, no nothing rush. Nothing to play. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the shadow yeah, shadow Cloak is good. What? Yeah, no Shadow Cloak opening is kind of... Kind of... Sad? It's sad. In a way. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit sad, isn't it? But, like, it, it's not that, like, you don't... Um, you, you don't really Whoa. need it right now to set up the whole thing, but, you know, be able to Ooh. just, like, mill out the deck, get even more orders there. Uh, it, it's just good, right? But like looking at what BZ already revealed with the uh, hand, like discarding and salvaging and all that, I think is already he's good to go for grade three at least. But look at effortless over here. He goes, I'm gonna draw one from the ride line. Gonna draw one from another cycler. <laughs> like just filling up that hand like no nobody's business. Yeah, the double double <clears throat> cycler is, is great, and also dropping another card to you know check the top deck and kind of just try and confirm more triggers if you can rush now you can like just push so much damage uh but the fact that he's swinging re first just kind of shows he's not confident with the top card of the deck maybe just keep it at there mm. uh, you know could be a bait could be a bait it could be a bait <laughs> could be a bait yeah, easy you gotta think we take in this we bank in try to make it you know you can drop a 15 and even if they have a trigger up there nothing will happen i'm gonna guard it though okay Ooh. Guarding it Double, again. Yeah, guarding it again. Double guard. <laughs> and actually, yep, Elementaria. Yeah. Right. Very understandable. <laughs> you do want those in this matchup. Yeah, yeah. Pretty nice, I guess. Got a bit baited. <laughs> Got a bit baited. Yeah. <laughs> Got a bit baited. <laughs> 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 
Force had a lot of hand too, so it's honestly for the for considering how explosive Hexorb is, getting this much shield out of the opponent this early is yeah. already very good. And ditching a front as well for that ride line. Yeah, is... I noticed that. That's, that's not Ooh. good. That means that the quality of the hand there is all defensive. You know, it's either defensive or it's necessary. All good. Yeah, all good. Or too good. <laughs> too good. Yeah. Or too good. But like, okay, you could argue that, you know, shielding is, is also, you know, not that relevant on the big hex orb turns, right? You, there is a turn. True. You need to PG the correct cards or take them. And um, if like they, get, if hex orb gets a good top three check as well on its ride up, then you know there's nothing you can do as well except put down a PG. So, not yeah. a, it's not optimal, but it's not as awful as as it could be. Yeah, I think that for the time being, staying at one is pretty. Pretty smart here on BZ's side, especially because oh, it looks like we're gonna go for an Alka Magic here to get that little search. Mm -hmm. Gonna be doing big searching, top yeah. five for a Dragon Tree or Mask unit, and then after that, ooh, ooh, we get find Bist Arvis. Yeah. And then after this, you're gonna be able to call out the RPD as well as uh, Zorga all? Masks with the Forbidol. And so you get to bounce back the Zorga masks for next yeah. turn, or this turn. I mean, if you have the Zorga in uh, in, I mean, you have the mask in drop now, so you can technically go into it. Don't activate Persona Ride, but you get the big power buff if you want to just push your opponent pretty much, a fair bit. Pretty much. Uh, but one thing also is like, yeah, you got the Shadow Cloak there. I uh, just kind of going on about what I was talking about before. You are able to drop important, like you know shielding early because you can just salvage them back with the shadow cloak yeah, yeah. so in a way zorga has their own recycle unit <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's the battle of the recycles here but now we're actually seeing some pressure coming in from bze yeah a little bit of a oh, lackluster he's, second turn yeah he's hmm. doing it he's doing it yeah oh maybe not about it henshin <laughs> I think it's fine to <laughs> getting a plus 10k to everything. It makes the Shadow Cloak even more annoying to guard, right? It'll be yeah. 25 onto a 10. Um, I think you're just thinking about whether to use a Zorga Revive or not first, because he does have the CB mm. overflowing. So he's going to go for it just to have a bit more board presence, I guess. And like this way, you are making better numbers. That's a 20k column now, Hedging. 30k with the Zorga Mask buff. So overall, I think it is good. Don't get the dragon tree now, though. So that's one thing that he could have had from C being here, but yeah, Hexor yeah. doesn't pop your board, so you can just uh, you know, you could bring it back later down the line. I think it's just valuing, like trying to make sure that damage goes through, mm -hmm. yeah, rather than you know worrying about maybe in the future I might need a dragon tree marker. Yeah, stick uh, to the game plan. We see the take and the heal goes down to zero big. here. Super big, and <laughs> there's a shadow cloak being healed right there. Ooh, oh, a heal as well on the other side. <laughs> heal for heal. They predicted the future. Aphelos already saw the top two cards just now, right? So it's, it's basically just, you know what? Predictions, predictions. And takes right. another one. I'm not seeing a dent in their hand size right there. <laughs> oh, that's quite lost, a lot. Like... 25k shield is. Considerable amount, but manages to block it. Gonna be on 2CB here and now can ride up. Get that little rearrange off the top. Ooh, ditches the maple too. Very nice for later turns. And we get to look at top three here and rearrange it on the top in any order. And looks like, thinking about it, checking the hand. Trying to see how we can peek at the top after this. And uh, I think if you're effortless, you really wanna just like, you know, get a repeat of round eight right get them to four damage this turn randomly but bz definitely is a lot more prepared you know had a whole day basically to think about this top eight match so they're definitely not letting themselves get beat up too early and making sure that effortless has to put in some effort to get to that win con yeah and looks like just dropping a whole field the thumbs was up. that top three cards... check really good <laughs> I hope so. Was that a good top three check? Crit? Ooh. That's nice. The thumbs up formation right here. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> True. 
Second okay. check. Second check. Oh no! Oh, heals me. Uh, that? Oh no, it's crit. My bad. Yeah, yeah Epilus is right. back in the game. It's three <laughs> damage. <laughs> three damage to me. Okay, we got a couple defensives in there, but not quite enough, of course. Angel's gonna be Exor wrong, yeah. putting in a big power, using the painkiller to draw that last of the three cards that they know. All right, so this is probably like what? This is gonna go to the shadow cloak, prevent any bouncing. And this one should be like 38 or something. Yep. But of course, Zork is on 33, so 15k is enough. But push to three yeah. is a good plan. I mean, that's mm -hmm. where you want to be. Yeah, like that's big, big turn, big turn. This, this is the kind of turns that, you know, you can't really underestimate, uh, you know, Hex Orb because well, you're on zero. They, they look at top three, they go, ooh. What's, that, what's happening with this one? <laughs> Boom. And you, you're suddenly caught up in damage. You know, in fact, you have more damage than effortless, right? Effortless yeah. has two. Uh, the second one, the second pip is not showing up on the the UI at the moment, but you know, as you can see on the screen, two uh, versus <laughs> three. <laughs> right? Back then, like like a few moments ago, BZ had like zero damage. So uh, it's it's good. Progress. Imagine if he had damage before that. He, you might even be close to death. Yeah, cooked. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's not even an aquamarine turn. <laughs> <laughs> we, and we don't want that to happen, yeah? So we want this to be as exciting yep. as possible. I mean, you know, we can't discount Zorga yet. The push on the right just came in, yeah? They're going to be cooking that Alka magic. Yeah. Hopefully dealing out some more damage. I'm not, like I said just now, I'm not seeing a lot of dent in Ephelus's hand. They gotta be they gotta be putting in the pressures here if not they're gonna be having a pretty problematic turn coming in with the next exalt turn so yeah the fist of Vaya coming into play right mm -hmm. uh it's so it's actually like really really good not only can it give you a dragon tree marker but you always like like you know zorga has those bad lose conditions where you go i don't have an order in hand so i can't alchemize yeah. it so mm -hmm. My I game is cry. dead, right? <laughs> <laughs> but having that just saves you. Like, for this, especially like this turn. Uh, well, to be fair, BZ still had the Zorga, in, like, Zorga around, the old, uh, the old blue Zorga around, so you couldn't just salvage anything. Um, but, you know, you can save that for later. All right. Having having more options to save is just, like, better. So, yeah. Fist of Eye coming in clutch there. Just able to set up a good Alchemagic turn right now. And also has the double RPD ready to go, right? Mm -mm. Yep, so you're going to get some big pressure here. No Dragon Tree Marker for the time being, but I'm pretty sure you can bring it back. We're going to bring back the front and bounce with the Shadow Cloak. Get some defensive power in hand here. And Ooh. we're going to get the counter charge as well. And draw. So, I mean, I everything's saw, just kind of coming together for BZ. That's right, that's right. If... Uh... BZ triggers some front series will be very, very strong. Um, Shadow Cloak's getting back that's that front trigger, 20k shield. And as, as mentioned before, right? A bit more free. Oh, using the blue zorga already to get back uh I think is that Fist of Ire as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh look at Fist that. Fist coming through and gonna get that dragon tree marker. So I don't think we actually have kill severing in rotation right now. I feel like I haven't seen it, but I might be might have just missed it. I don't, well, he's attacking with Vanguard yep. first. So. Yeah, so it should be no kills once no again kills. for the viewers at home. Just a reminder, <laughs> Kiel does need you to, um, you know, have a Dragon Tree Marker, have it in drop, have your Vanguard attack. Has to specifically be Zorga Masks as well. But the Zorga's huge. I mean, this is coming in with 33 on its own. And then everything else is like swole and has a crit also attached <laughs> to it. Yeah, it's, it's uh, you know what? 15, then plus like Persona Ride, 25, and then plus another 10 from the Alka Magic, 35 with critical, not including boost. One of them is Dragon Tree Marker. You're basically asking for like a lot. They're hitting over specific numbers. Mm -hmm. um, it's like three card guards, unless you have a PG or unless you have a crit heals, right? It's very, it's very painful. And we can see Effortless crunching the numbers on, <laughs> on guarding here. Because it's just, it's really awkward, right? You can, you can probably, you can no guard the Vanguard and pray for no crits. And then if no crits come out, then you can take one of the uh, roaming prison dragons. Yeah. yeah. But if a crit comes out, then 
everything has to be guarded after that. Mm. The customary trigger checks are happening right now. I mean, <laughs> thing about it is that BZE just drew in into the other front, yeah. So not seeing a lot of faith in the top. Ooh. Oh, the crit comes out. That's pretty I mean, like, huge. That would put effortless to four, and that means both of these other side swings are lethal. Good thing he yep. added that PG mm -hmm. off the top earlier. Painkiller followed by a front damage, that's good. so that's good. Helps that's good. to cope, but these numbers are still massive. Yeah, I think it's still around. Oh, with the front, it turns some of the gods from like three card gods, like two card gods, maybe. Yep. Um, but this one is this one is hitting at, at least requiring at least twenty five k shield. I mean, I, I, I don't like how Ephelos is thinking so much about these gods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 is, it makes my confidence in his hand not not great. <laughs> it, it's, like, it, it's either there's too many good units or there's just... There's, well, if there's too many good <laughs> units, there is no guarding power in any of them. They're all 5k yep. shields, right? <laughs> Ooh, drops the Aquamarine for the Wow! Team. Okay. That's pretty huge. All right, drops two fifteens for the last one. That is enough because you hit the defensive front. All right. Oh, so the problem it means Epilus should have another Aquamarine in hand, or that yeah, yeah that yeah, might yeah, be yeah, a yeah. big throw. All right. But <laughs> big throw. Right, there we go. All right, Persona yeah. Ride is activated. Aquamarine is now in play. Gonna get triple drives. We're gonna get all kinds Maple. of good stuff here. Extra power. Nice, nice. Maple coming Maple. through for that free restand. <laughs> Puts down the Octoray. Octoray. Very, Very cool. cool. Just adds them to hand. Puts the cards to the bottom. But now, do we have enough top deck checks? Or is Effortless committing big time to another Ooh, Octoray? Another Octoray. Right, there we this is going to be a again. big stack coming in. <laughs> Just adds them to hand. <laughs> oh. Bear in mind that, you know, Effortless has seen a few drive checks, especially that double crit slam the previous turn. Yeah. Uh, do we have more? Do, do we have I think more the combos key here is going to be that replenishment in the back. So this can only be used when the Vanguard's standing. So burn that CB, check top two, and hopefully find yourself the two on the top to get the restand here. But even if you get the full board restand, like, I feel like BZ, we know has like at least one PG and the hand is huge too. So it's going to be a little bit difficult to pierce through that defense, I think, for Effortless. So let's see what, what the plan is. Effortless just needs a big turn here to demolish BZ's hand. Ooh, Spiral Whoa. Beauty. Mm. Nice, nice. Puts one to the top. I feel like he playing that spiral cutie is a bit like I'm not I'm not confident with what I'm gonna see. You, know? <laughs> you burn the last CB here. You burn the last CB here. Look at top two. Yeah. Just make sure that you have the right cards up top. Just thinking about it. Thinking, thinking a bit too long. That cut, yeah, puts the bottom. It might be a PG that one. <laughs> if you're thinking about keeping it at the top, but you know. Or a persona too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you need a big turn here to like death. break through, right? Break through, you have to, yeah. Put a death you have to in hit from three, yeah, and then you have to uh, yeah, dent that hand somehow. But it wouldn't matter still, isn't it? I mean, the the, the Zorga lines usually they're more happy. Then you know, the more cuts in the drop zone, the happier they get. Uh, but in this case, <laughs> you, we 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 come back to the question, you know. Is the hand of BZE too good because it, there's a lot of units, or is it you know too good because there's a lot of defensives? Uh, I think if BZ, sir, maybe maybe I just got very quickly, but you're if right. you're thinking about this, <laughs> that's the thing, right? <laughs> yeah, this is also actually like what thirty three. So he has a front in hand, so he can just drop a front in five k. It's like, mm -hmm. but I guess he's really thinking about. Okay, if my opponent high rolls, I have to block five attacks with like insane yeah, numbers. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so it's like, it, do I block these two, then take the Vanguard swing, but then risk getting double crit and yeah. die? Yeah, if you had like multiple PGs, you'd just be like, oh, this is easy. I can like take, take, PG, 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 mm -hmm. right? But, uh, but now you, you're, you're thinking like, oh, Blitz, okay, well, blitz do, Order, like, that do, draws a card too. Yeah, do I use the Blitz Order now as well? You know, I have to PG the Vanguard, but how many PGs I've left, right? 
Um, yeah, like... That's 20k shield, I think, because... 20k, have to... Oh, yeah, have 5k is... Ooh, kill severing, that's pretty, a pretty huge discard. This one they're is... confident, yeah, they're confident to top that. <laughs> yep, same thing. Gonna drop 215s for that one. So it's also 33k, if I'm not mistaken. Six cards Ooh. left, it's actually not that much. Not that's much. that's dangerous, yeah. This is yeah. super dent. All right, I wonder if this is a take. Good. It's risky, but at the same time, it feels like you have to PG it just to be safe. Drops yeah, the order that... as well. So that's the blue Zorga to get an order back. Over trigger oh! gets popped by Effortless. <laughs> Gonna get that reset, Dang. but... That other column is only still hitting for two crit. You're gonna need another one. And he only knows the top card of the deck. Here, so now we're in unknown territory. Needs this to hit basically one more crit. Yeah, this blue is actually really good. Able to get, uh, you know, your Sona Ride for next turn or a PG. I don't think it's a PG drop. Oh, no, he has... No, no you can't do that. He forgot to banish the Elementary Sanctitude, so... Okay, he, he banished oh, yeah, it. He, no, he just banished it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I was like... <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't banish. <laughs> okay, there's a PG. Oh, a PG. Okay, oh okay. but no other trigger. So only one call of only one more attack, and it only pushes in two damage. This is a take. Yeah, it's it's just, this is a take. Yeah, yeah, take. Heal doesn't activate. Right. Followed by Grave Zorga. So actually, that might have been the last Persona ride for BZ going out the window. But okay, but if if Effless okay, Effless picked up a crit though, so that means. Aquamarine is in hand again, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, because he he actually had a persona in drop right, so yeah. Interesting. Uh, and I mean, BZ, this might be the last persona of a BZ, but this is Zorga, all right. You just get them out again. <laughs> shadow, <laughs> shadow, uh, shadow, uh, shadow, 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 back to hand. But I feel like it's more like the last turn that he might have in the game. You know, this is the this is the turn where you probably have to. Beat effortless, or effortless will uh, beat you. Yeah. Right. But that's the thing, right? Uh, being, I mean, being called out here, five damage, four damage on each side. I mean, we, we're looking at BCE trying to end it during this turn in itself. But again, you know, all of the assumptions that effortless actually has another aquamarine in hand could be that they're going to a, you know, to a much safer route. You know, defensive, defensive, and then just going in on a on a beat down style afterwards. But I don't know. We haven't seen the over trigger from BZE side yet, right? Or I could be mistaken. Mm. The the only hope, the, the I, only I, hope I, that they have. <laughs> it's not out yet, and if it does come out on this turn on an RPD, it's pretty strong. And I think the RPD is on the silver field, but I think that there's a malice that we can see right mm -hmm. there that he's. His finger over. So just need one order, and I think that's what the Vista Vi is gonna do. Yeah. Got a pretty good setup. Yeah, and what what uh I think what BZ can do is you know do the do the malice and the call and then also just bounce with the shadow cloak for a card you need. So maybe even a if if BZ thinks they have a next turn, can just bounce a Zorga Mask, like call out and bounce it, and then put out the two uh, RPDs, and then just just go. Rinse right? and repeat. <laughs> mm, mm. Or can even get like a PG if it wants to be safe. Yeah. The board is a little bit flooded right now, but at the same time, as long as you can uh, reuse the Rumkus and Dragons. It's gonna be good. Let's see, both players kinda just going through the motions. As you said, there's ways to get back these orders. We have CB, we have resources. So it all comes down to what BZ wants to do. What sort of magic, yeah, what sort of magic they're planning. Still, you know, the time taken to, to actually, you know, really be thinking about it doesn't doesn't show much faith. You know, I'm not having I'm not having much confidence here. I don't think he's having the confidence as well. <laughs> no, I mean he's you know, you gotta it's this is potentially do or die, it's the last turn. Yep, yep. And this is the match that truly determines if you can if you go home from this tournament with a prize or not. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'd mm -hmm. say this is arguably 
Next to the top four match, this is the next most important one, right? Finals match, you already know you're going home with a prize card, but this one is to determine who goes with the prize card and who just gets bragging rights. And then top four is the one that gets to determine if you get a prize card and how many. And but... you have a certification to showcase for it, right? You know what? I'm a top four in EO region. <laughs> That's right. So we there see the combination here of Tearful Malice as well as Frozen Resentment. So it's going to get to clear out the two RPDs and counter charge at the same time, generate a bit of soul, and then of course on top of that, we're also going to get that search from the Frozen Resentment to try and thin the deck a little bit and just compress, compress, compress. But it looks like that kind of... Uh, ooh. What? Definite trying to make out what there. Trying to make out what they discard. Is that a PG? I think it is a perfect guard because they do play the FR ones. Yeah, that's, that's the only kind of art that could look like. Yeah. <laughs> um, it looks like. It be, yeah, it can't actually be anything else. But I think it. Yeah, has I was like, that's not the OT, that. is it? <laughs> no way. No. It's a red OT, right? OT has to be red. No, no, no. He plays this like OT. Oh, my bad. My bad. Rain. But yeah. Yeah, we're gonna call the PG back here. You get to process Shadow Cloak first here by Soul Blasting and Bouncing, and then process the Roman Prison Dragon skills, mm. and they both pop out, and now we have the same shenanigans once more. So for Sunrise <laughs> plus 10k, Zorgan Mask plus 10k, and of course Roman Prison Dragon's own plus 10k. So of course Roman Prison Dragon is a 5k base, so the plus 10k just puts it at you know normal unit levels, but 43k swing, uh, 48 actually with the uh dragon tree marker and we have kill severing in the drop so don't forget about that so this is going to be two crit pressure next swing is going to be the vanguard might be the one attack you have to no guard actually so we're going yeah. to see yeah well it, it comes down to this right if you no guard the vanguard because you want damage then you know you pray for no crits mm -hmm. but if you guard the vanguard and a crit comes out the kill severing will have two crit anyway so anywhere along those lines, if a crit comes out, then you have no CB and you're kind of playing your deck a bit blind, right? Because you can't check the top deck with any CB abilities. Um, your only out will be the grade two that, is, that comes to play to check top deck, right? Um, yep. So this should be 45, I think. So really just going in with the two crit pressure columns first, just kind of telling Effortless, like, hey, you're going to have to guard these <laughs> if you want to actually have a chance to gamble. But I'm going to chase after the dub as much as possible. And we see that Effortless is uh, having to mull it over a little bit. It's not <laughs> the soup. I mean, it's pretty high. It is, what, 15, 25, 35, 45, I think, here. So, three 15s. I mean, not even three 15s. Two 15s and a 5 will do it. But the question is, does Effortless have enough shield power? Well, Evelyn's did salvage just a crit, I think, on yeah. the blue OT swing, so I feel like... But I already used it. Yeah, yeah, so... But if you're salvaging that, it's... Like, is You know, th there's definitely better targets there, right? So, mm -hmm. it, it feels like a low-priority low salvage, so your hand should be... All units? <laughs> no, it should be, like, all units, you know? Um, you know, <laughs> pro probably effortless look at a look at the hand and it's like oh god you know what, what i'm gonna guard <laughs> with next turn <laughs> Lord, <It's> a... <laughs> i need a shield <laughs> i need a two crit. different logics <laughs> yeah but yeah, again uh... effortless uh, thinking about this god see, way yeah. too long <laughs> <laughs> the fact yeah. that it's being mulled over means that i yeah. the hand is too good or and having too too good. Good. <laughs> it's too good having too low on that shield count right there so probably there's that's why there's probably one one pg in that hand and that's the only pg that he needs to use to survive the next mm -hmm. three attacks <laughs> yeah i think the one thing is like if you do no guard vanguard the kill severing that comes out isn't going to be super huge it'll be 10k on the dragon tree marker 20 okay. 30, 30 with the yeah. two buffs mm -hmm. so <laughs> it is guardable the 15 in a in a 5k so if you're gonna, I think there's like a part of Effortless that wants to guard everything, a part that wants one CB, and so it's like, where do you gain that one CB? Is it no guarding the Vanguard? Do you burn yeah. the PG here? 
the Vanguard is 33. Like, I mean, probably it's kind of difficult to to make the call here. And again, you know, let the players use the full extent of the time, right? This is arguably one of the most important matches of the entire day, and definitely the most important match of the tournament so far for them. So it definitely comes down card for card, and you know, we love these kind of nail biter matches, right? When it comes down to the wire. <laughs> oh. Here comes the card. Here Which comes, one is yeah, it? You, you have to commit to something. Shield. You have to commit to something. There hasn't been a decision made for a while. Oh, okay. It's a 15. 5-5. Five, five. 38. And we're still missing 10. And we're still missing 10. Just a true card on top of that as well. Two 5Ks Perhaps. from head. Might yeah. be playing into like a, you know, one card PG or something. Oh, nope. Takes it back. Hasn't committed a full shield yet. Still wait, I just, if you take it back, it's PG it back. time. <laughs> yeah. PG time, yep. there it is. <laughs> drops the Octa Ray as well. All right, kill uh, He's yeah. the severing. severing. Yep. And is this a no Dropping guard? <laughs> I feel like we're going to see the no guard here. The no guard hand wave. I mean, it's pretty, it. it's pretty risky, right? The deck is super compressed. You're not seeing a lot of triggers coming out. I mean, a healthy amount, but not that much. OT is still nowhere to be seen. But it's all right. It's a twin drive, right? It's and then even then, like, it's compressed, but it's, it's not fine. like... It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, well, there it is. There it is. Ridiculous. The hand, the no hand. guard. It's front, a front trigger. Followed by... Oh, oh. Bis. Ivas. That is going to be the heal that does not activate, but the 10k wow. is appreciated. Yeah. Only 20k shield for this one. 40k versus 23. It is possible for Effortless to guard easy this. easy guard, the 15 and the yep. 5. He's got this, there and the intercept opened up the slot. Effortless manages to survive one more turn. Wow. Gambled on the Zorga swing, <laughs> but... We said it from the beginning, at least from the beginning of the turn. I was like, Effortless has to no guard Vanguard here. Like, this is just... This is the only out for him because he mm -hmm. wants the CB here, too. Now, do we actually... Oh, wait, 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 there it is. We do, we do, we do, we do have that Aquaman. All right, right Persona Ride. Oh. Triple drive confirmed. Maple's already on the board. And we do know there is an Octoray in that hand. They're going to use it. Let's see what's going to get added to hand and what is going to go. Puts it all on top. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Love the confidence. Love the confidence. That was a, gonna swing on in. That was a quick placement to top, by the way. So yeah, it, yeah, it could be yeah, like yeah, two yeah. fronts because, you know, we haven't seen any fronts, right? Pretty yep. sure. Uh, yeah. Mm. Effless right, does 33 the swing. 33 yeah. swing. Otherwise, they would have taken it from the OT just oh, now. <laughs> BZ's already thinking about the guard. He saw the yep. two, two. The Octoray put two to the top. Like, wow. Now it's, my, <laughs> now, now it's my turn to think, you know? I'm defending with my quality hand. <laughs> I feel like if you were gonna bank on defensive, though, it might have just been that first attack. Oh uh, no, because the next attacks, if they're bo if they actually double trigger, there's going to be some huge Yeah, it's like insane lines, right? numbers. I'm more worried. I guess there shouldn't be that many crits left, but I do feel like they're slightly reduced at two because he's been seeing it's, quite a few. I think it's a I think it's a double front. We haven't seen any fronts at all. That's though. true. That's true. Well, maybe one front. We saw defensive. Answer. Yeah. All there right. Go. Here goes Get Aquamarine 23k. <laughs> Has right, to PG this one. Yep. Or it just doesn't work. All right, let's see the triple drive. <laughs> that's three cards left in hand, right? Oh, no, that's five. Oh, that's that's still, still quite a bit. Yeah, yeah that's still quite a bit. A bit. Mm. You're but how many PGs are in that hand, I have to say? <laughs> if there right, are multiple this. PGs, then... Let's see it. A, crit on the first crit. check. Dang. It's still in there. There we go. Guess the stand. Check. Is a front. front. Okay. There we go. Here's the blind one. Right. Maybe maybe it's still a double front as well. Oh, there oh! it is. <laughs> <laughs> double front in the crit. So now it comes down to you basically. Not yeah, he wants to swing crit. with the crit column here. Force out the PG. I I mean obviously BZ wants to PG this and guard this because like yeah. you want to gamble on the one damage, but. <laughs> Even then, this is what, 25, 45, 60, 65, 70, yeah, I mean, this should be 80, like, 85, right? 75, 85? Yeah. <laughs> it's, this isn't raw guard. Oh, never mind. No, that's, that's, a, no. that's a way to get to 83. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> six. No, that's not enough. That's six. Yeah, I think you're missing five. Plus, yeah. So that's ninety-eight. That's a, a triple. God, is it PG? Oh, PG. Oh, oh my god. Oh, he no. actually raw guarded with the OT. <laughs> that's insane. What? Wow. PZ survived that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, ridiculous. With what little hand and deck size left, yeah? Okay, now now I can say it. The deck is super compressed, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He's doing it. Managed to survive. Still has CB. No more personas, though. That is for sure. But you don't really need persona right now, I th think. Um, but Evelyn's hand is now pretty buff with those tribe chicks. Double yeah. down, one crit. Yeah. shields. Yeah. Can you actually punch through that, I wonder? Uh, I mean, no choice, right? They have to do it. The BZE has to do it. He has okay, to here we go. Do that. And All right. So we're doing the twisting mouse first. Now going to pull, pull like a booster. It's, it's pretty nice. And then it will generate, you get two in the front as well. Mm -hmm. The RPD is already pretty good. Your Zorg is only even going to be hitting for like 23 though, because of the no, uh, the no Persona rise. So everything's actually slight, slight, like 10k weaker, but you know, weaker. yeah, having the Alka Magic does to help. Alka Magic, so you get the plus 10k from Zorg and Masks, but I guess you also get the double RPD, so they're going to be what, uh, 33k columns most likely, depending on uh, what is on the board there. And we still have Shadow Cloak on the board too, so you know we get the bounce on the PG here. That just continues coming back every turn. Yeah. Like that's <laughs> a very underrated part of this deck is that you just kind of become a PG machine every single yeah. turn as long as you have Soul and Shadow Cloak in play. Shadow Cloak combos literally saving BZ right now, mm -hmm. especially in this matchup. It's yeah. ridiculous how much Shadow Cloak is saving BZ throughout this game. The value. The value right. that BZ is getting, right? So this is, what, 38 with the Dragon Tree Marker included, so... Not super hard to guard. I mean, you can drop a front and two, two card fiends. guard. Yeah, two yeah. card guard, yeah. Or two, two fives, rather. And then yeah, this two is... Fives. Uh, two fives, one twenty. Should do it. The other one's only 25, I think, so it's actually quite easy to guard. Yeah, I think what you do is you swing Vanguard first, and then hope you just trigger some, like, a front or something. Mm. And that other side becomes a bit easier. To, or a bit, well, it becomes a two card guard, basically. A bit more threatening, yeah. Yeah. Your keel severing is also going to be very weak. It's like 20k. Yeah. So you definitely need like a trigger. The front is, will basically help you out quite a lot. Turns everything from. You know, but I feel like he's. BZ seen quite a few friends. So you saw him like fan yeah. through the dropper layer, and like there was like two or three in there. So, and he only plays three. Mm -hmm. Eight cards left. All right. I mean, I wouldn't call this the most optimal field that Zorga can build. If thinking in that, that that sentiment just now showcased that, that he wants it to go to the next turn, right? To have some sort of defensive. Whereas I think, you know, you, sh you wouldn't you want to bank in on, on everything during this turn? You just want to, like, end it now? Hmm. You're throwing a crit in the front down for that. Yeah, that swings Vanguard. Can use the keel. Keel. Twenty three. How is Zephyrus going to guard this? Two to pass. Also, just received word from the judges mm -hmm. that yep. we are in time here. So I think probably Chad might have noticed that we are past the uh, past the the thirty minute timer. But mm -hmm. we are in turn two of overtime here with uh, BZ. So ooh, we mm -hmm. see a crit. So if Effortless survives this, I believe he gets the last turn of time to push mm. through we see another keel that crit went to keel as well so that's going to be a 30k keel if i'm not mistaken Easy to so the front is going to guard that yeah oh or 35 and manages to still survive what is this what is this game With one hand there's no more personas yeah, one, one hand all the attackers need to just come out. Whoa! And he manages to find the attackers. Actually, this is gonna be huge because what actually needs has now is a heal. Yep. Yep. And this is the last turn of time too, so yes, this is huge. So Zero. double Effulgent finally comes out. We finally see it in game. 
So at worst here, it's a, it, it's a, it's a, well, you can't draw, so go to sudden death, um, or effortless wins because you can check, you check a heal, and you know this is the deck that is good at checking. Yep. Um, leaves leaves on, it top. on top. Is that a heal confirmed? Or is maybe effortless is just out of heals? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna find out soon. <laughs> Double check. Just checking double it check. again. <laughs> Making sure it's he didn't see something. He's like the light second over trigger. Nice. <laughs> second over trigger. Uh, if, it, if it was the second over trigger, you're moving that card to the bottom of the deck. <laughs> okay, is it heal? It is oh. a heal, right? Check top deck. All right. oh, it's a front. Front. Okay. Uh, Gets uh, the power and the crit. crit. I think he might only have. He doesn't have soul. soul. Oh wait, BZ survives again. Wait, so we, what is happening? So we've timed, right? Oh. So we are past the turns of time. So now it's in sudden death. Somebody has to deal a damage for there to be a conclusion. Or what a heal. crazy top eight match. <laughs> this is like grand final so, quality. I, I feel like that's a misplay on Effortless's part because with two cards in hand, un unless, unless Effortless is like totally out of heals. But you might. You mean he could have put it. a card to soul mm -hmm. from Effulgen instead of like keeping it on top. Yeah, but you could also dig a bit further to try and trigger a heal, right? Unless yeah. He, again, think... again, unless he's totally out of heals, because now like BZ can trigger a heal and win, but you know BZ might also be out of heals. Um... <laughs> he's just a battle of yeah. heals. It, it's tough because he only knew the top card, right? So you see a trigger, you're like, oh, that's good. But you could have theoretically soul charged it and then checked the next top. Because and if it wasn't a trigger, then soul charged that too and then gone for like the there's no Omega way High Roll. Can guard this. Yeah, there's no way with you can guard this with two cards in hand. That's the issue. Yeah, yeah. So that is the true. correct so, play is to dig for that heal. Yeah, the out was greedier. The out was you, indeed greedier. You just greedier. have to. You have to be greedy. Um, I mean, if, like, if, right. if he procs a heal here, it would feel so bad. Oh, no. That is going to be game. BZE takes it over effortless Zorga. after this absolute slugger. Just going through it turn yeah. after turn, beating each other up, recovering resources, and trying to find the dub. Effortless. That was a... That was a crazy game. <laughs> yeah. Effortless put in a lot of effort, dude. Definitely put in a lot of effort to survive there. De definitely wasn't a Effortless game. <laughs> no. Like every, every, the top eight match was like, it felt like just like steamroll, but uh, not top eight. Last, the last, round eight of Swiss, but this top eight match was incredible. That was a very yeah. close match, yeah. you know. Back and forth. Two yeah. Filipino players going back and forth, but, you know, at the end of the day, BZ stands on top with Zorga, and uh, we shall see who they end up playing against from mm. the other top eight that make it to top four. But that was a crazy start. That was a crazy start to the broadcast, the crazy start to the top eights, the, the triple feat of top eights between the three regions. And uh, honestly, huge props to both players. Mm. Yep, yep, that's right, that's right. It's just, I mean, if only if the other games are as good as this, we're gonna have a crazy top eight, same. Same, right? Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And we actually can show you the bracket to show you how things have been progressing in the Ooh. top eight so far. Ooh. So it looks like we are going to... Ooh, Gen X took it over Smurf wow. in the top eight match. So we're going to have a Zorga mirror match between Gen X and BZ. So Zorga confirmed for Dang. finals here, no oh. matter what. And then... Laurel makes it through. Though. Laurel yeah. versus Jet. <laughs> wow. What a Ooh. matchup. <laughs> so we're going to get the Singaporean showdown versus the Zorga showdown. <laughs> so no matter what, there's a Singaporean player in finals and a Zorga player in finals. I, hope, gonna be... Paris... I hope Paris's <laughs> camera is ready. All right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yep. Otherwise... Just saying, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I yeah, hope the duct true. tape is coming in. I hope you took our <laughs> advice. I mean, come on. Day, day, two, day two duct tape, right? Day two duct yeah, tape. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. 100%. That was very impressive. Very, very cool. And overall, a great start to the tournament. But as we get our top four players ready, we're going to go for a very short break. So don't go anywhere, as we'll be back for some exciting action very soon. I guess you can do anything um, you might not have interest in, but, but why force yourself? So if you do something that you're interested in, 
you know, it makes life more fun. Okay, Serene, thank you so much mm, for joining me today. You. Thank you so much. Hey guys, and welcome to a very special episode of Coffee with Bushiroad. Um, my name is Matt. Uh, I'm the TCG Marketing Manager for Bushiroad International. Uh, you may already know me as a Bushi Matt, or uh, the intern that posts a couple of memes on the Car uh, Vanguard uh, Twitter account. So anyway, this is going to be a bit of a special episode of uh, Coffee with Bushiroad. Instead of having a host with me today, as you can see, uh, I asked you guys to send me questions that I should be answering on camera, which is, I think, a mistake, but you know, we're gonna roll with it. First question is, how did you come to be known as the Bushiroad's intern? Uh, it all started with a post uh, that I put on the Vanguard Twitter that was like, I think it was the, the four cards that defined you, something like that. And um, I basically put in the effort to like reply everybody. I think, I think people didn't expect uh, the level of replies that they were getting, like the kind of um, jokes, or I guess maybe or like the kind of like responses that they were getting, were kind of unexpected from like the Vanguard Twitter account, and it kind of blew up from there. And uh, now I got approval to have like my own account, and that has like thousand seven hundred followers now. So thank you guys for that. And yeah, that's that's how I became. That's my origin story. Uh, why did I start working in Bushiro? Uh, honestly, it was because I love card games. And, you know, people tell you, oh, don't stop playing games because it's not going to get you anywhere. Well, guess what? Guess what, mom? Alright, so what is your favorite deck in Vanguard and Vice Shorts? Ah, uh, Vanguard. Probably, like, my Revenger deck. That's, like, one of the decks I really played with a lot uh, in the back then. And I still have the deck. I really, really love it. So, yeah, probably the Revenger deck. Uh, for Vice Schwartz, uh, let's see, maybe Goblin Slayer? I have a question. So, uh, what do you do to become so tall? So it's, well, it's not because I'm jealous, I'm just asking for a friend. Um, Jean, I guess? Do you, do you like have special supplements? Like, do you, do you drink a lot of milk? When you were a kid? This is part this is part of the this is part of the question. Oh do I have to answer this? Uh okay, um well I, I not not really, no, I just I I, I guess I just you know, lucky. <laughs> I didn't I didn't have to do anything special. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I was saying uh Goblin Slayer for for buy shots, yeah, again because I played the deck a lot and I, I really enjoy the mechanics of the deck. Do you like play basketball? It's a lot. No, no, I know. that's kind of, yeah, I got to catch up a lot, but yeah, I know. So like skipping ropes then? I did, I did skip a little bit when I was younger, but I was really pretty tall for my age when I was doing that. Is, is, is that. is this really part of the, because I don't see this in the, the list though. Do, do I have this? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's part of the oh. oh, it is? Oh, okay, okay, sure. What is the best part about working in Bushiro? Uh, wow, best part. I mean, there are a couple of things that, that really are pretty amazing, like uh, getting to travel and meeting everybody. I think that's one of the biggest joys that I have. Uh, being able to see people enjoy the game like around the world is quite amazing. Uh, another thing is, of course, I think I, you guys already know, because I've been doing this a lot. Uh, I've been <laughs> we, we get to get like a couple of cards sometimes, you know, because we get like samples and stuff like that. And then we have something that's called um, a complete set, which is basically a single copy of every card that we release in the booster pack and then we get some of these things and then we get to build decks uh, to play in the office which is quite, quite a lot of fun to be honest we did like a couple of uh, uh, remote fights and stuff like that events where we get to play with the players online that was really fun we do gunslingers we used to do gunslingers also at um, events where we would play with players on, on the spot 
was really really fun. So like yeah, so we do get to build all these decks and we do, do get to try out all these things. It's quite, quite a lot of fun. Yeah. Alright, so and um what's the worst part about working in virtual? Can I say that? No, okay, I'm not I don't think I can say that. Okay, but actually that, okay, so I can I can think of something that is um <laughs> that's okay for me to say. Uh basically I don't get to play in any tournaments anymore. That's actually kind of sad because uh as I kept playing games, I, I realized that I had this like small competitive spirit fire. That, that reignites every time I watch everybody play at events or like online events. You know, this online events, um, I'm, I'm there the whole time as well, checking, making sure the stream's okay. I'm the one that's replying on the stream, I'm the one that's checking the stream, uh, helping out at the back end also with the event itself. And every time I watch people play. Welcome back, everyone. We had a crazy game, but we are ready for some more crazy games. Uh, you know, <laughs> what I just realized in the break is that Azorga is already confirmed to be in the finals because mm. the bottom of that bracket... I just said that, bro. <laughs> yeah. I, no, I just said dude, that. This dude sold his B out. I, I'm pretty sure I said that. <laughs> just saying. But I don't yeah. know, man. We got uh, the receipts. I, I, have a, I have a short memory, but that's fine. <laughs> I, I have selective memory because I remember what I want. Right? Anyway, anyway, yeah. So Whoa. Azorga confirmed in the finals. Um, but now we have... One matchup which I'm mm. sure a lot of us did not expect, and that is yep. well, we might have expected the jet portion, but the other mm. one, Chris, mm, not did you so expect much. It? Yeah. yeah, let's take a look at the deck list and uh, <laughs> fill our dear viewers in on what we're seeing here. So, this is Wait O Gandiva, who's made it with not Gandiva to the top <laughs> four with Chronogen. We showed the deck list earlier, of course, it is the jet with the couple tech slots here the few one ofs the ling the crucial etc we've seen him on we've seen most of these players on stream before actually it's kind of surprising yep. but they're all back here in day two and so he's gonna be trying to fight make jet reach the top and uh try to fight you know if you're a jet player you want those jet prize cards right so mm. feels like wade has mm. carried the pro tag of the the, the, the jet spirit to get <laughs> those prize cards but standing in his way is none other than paris with that lauren roll list that we can take a look at now and of whoa, course whoa. we saw it on stream before too but it's also just a deck that a lot of people didn't expect didn't think it would go this far but lo and behold it's in top four and one win away from making it to finals which would be pretty exciting like <laughs> lauren roll versus zorga finals would be pretty crazy so, but Jet versus Zorg is also going to be very Pretty interesting. Crazy, Pretty yeah. Crazy. <laughs> All right. So, any other comments, guys? No, we'll uh, we'll roll. No. <laughs> yeah. Will Will Lord roll roll to the finals, or will Jet Jet to the, jet to the finals? <laughs> jet to the finals. <laughs> We're gonna go with that. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Let's players are ready. We're ready. Cameras are ready. I hope. <laughs> and uh, let's go. Right. All right, Paris. Let's get into it, it, it. It's do or die. Oh, it feels like it's been duct taped. I like that. <laughs> feels no, the, the tripod is on the other side <laughs> yep. of the. Uh, I think it's just oh, mirrored. No, no, it's just the mirrored. Yeah, the, the camera is. It's mirror, still yeah. the same. <laughs> it's still in the same position. <laughs> yeah, it's, good. it's okay. Still knock off the tripod. <laughs> Par Paris the stakes has are had, higher. Paris had eight rounds of practicing to put his hand, to put his hand near the tripod and not like drop it. Right, so. Ooh, a lot of, a lot of first is Lord Roll too. It's an interesting yeah. position to put both, the right deck. Both <laughs> players getting getting their preferred uh, turn order, I guess. So you mm -hmm. know, Paris he always wants to go first because then you go off earlier. But then for Wait here, they really want to go second to mm -hmm. stride first, uh, so they can uh, you know also so get the extra draw. They can also they can also get the, this extra aggression going right. You, if you draw an extra one. Yo, this is very, very aggressive. aggressive. Very aggressive. Yeah. Very aggressive. Yes. Oh, it's and not yeah. over yet. Sargon comes down too. <laughs> this is the full power turn one and goes Vanguard swing first just to confirm the damage. The finger so position. Ooh. Hits the heal. Hits the return heal as well. Heal as well. <laughs> so this is a one. This is gonna hit. hit yep. Get the soul back and still have one more attack that does connect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a really good turn for Gandiva here. They're getting they're getting a lot of what they want to do, right? Aggress early, draw, uh, you can rush, and then 
it's the quicker you push your opponent to more damage the quicker that your um your strides will kill them <laughs> I, was just, right. I was just thinking that you know the, the faster it is a fit rider can just seal their fate <laughs> mm, that's a good one that's a good one yes yep. yes i agree uh, but you know, jets are fast. Ooh, nothing much to do here for uh, Paris, Rawls. though. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just gonna be oh, a crit, crit meow. <laughs> Ooh. Yep. Ooh, Ooh double, two defensive crit. crits. That's slightly painful. It's alright. It's not the end of the world. Um, the key thing is Gandiva's board is just staying there. Right? Mm -hmm. not, you can, going anywhere. You're getting extra value from the cards, pretty much. Uh, like oh, immediately can... uses the Gungan Rum to draw an extra card here. Making full use of the resources available. We do have an Argandia to call. Good, good. Just keep on the Ooh. rush. Just three swings. Try lane every turn. Not letting that Lorna roll. Get Brief. a single. Yeah. Get a moment. Not even let out a... Forget letting out a gasp. Letting out a meow, bro. Not even... <laughs> He's not even a meow. <laughs> yeah, there's He's no chasing really... this cat. Right, right, there's not really trigger. any good. There like, we go. He... Yeah, oh, another that... defensive <laughs> heal <laughs> that doesn't activate. The power is pretty real. Like, he, he, he's, he is he is the game plan. If you're Gandiva, what's 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 your? Thing? Yeah, that's it. Right, you know, so... it. It effectively shuts down all the attacks. Yeah, but, no, 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 but but what I mean is that if you're you're if you're Gandiva, you jet right. You commit mm -hmm. early. One of the two options that you know Paris can do is you either attack face and you keep all your cards alive to cash in on their next turn. So you see, like they just move it back, commit more. You got a huge good board, right? Mm -hmm. Or they attack Rhea, and then you know you, your damage stays very low, so you can cruise yourself into a stride matchup where you want to be, right? And also, uh, you can no guard their anti sentinel turns. Very very. Very good, right? Very good. Yep. So both those scenarios, I think, work really well in Gandiva's favor, and uh, it's just it's it's just unfortunate in a way that Paris is able to get some defensive uh, triggers, but you know, triggers happen. I imagine, triggers imagine what, what would it be like if if Gandiva was going first with this kind of setup. It's, this would be a pretty monster. Yeah, and it's still pretty weird that you know another heal. Wait, no, what was that? That was a, a front, I believe. Gets the defensive draw there. Mm. Mm. And now we see Paris staying staying low. Uh, staying at grade two. Didn't ride up. Mm. I, I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like in this board state, when you know Gandiva has a full board like this, staying at grade two is a bit of a risk because you're not progressing your own game state. And sure, you're denying Gandiva for progressing their game state. But their board is just way better than you. Yeah, and yeah, quality wise. Yeah, and if you know from old school uh, grade two gaming, if your Ooh. board is better than if your board is better than your opponent, you are winning the grade two game. Yep. It's a full board, and in itself, you know, you're a Lauren Roll. I mean, you were perfectly seated at two damage. You know, you're still pretty healthy. You'd want to get that. Uh, that oh, right. what is this? Once pass. Whoa! Uh, Breaks through the crit. No. White chasing after this Lorna roll like he got that dog in heel. him. The heel. third heel. See, All right. Just shuts down the turn again. So these defensive checks are going very, very well for Paris. But and, yep. this is the problem here because then when you are riding up into your great tree, nothing much you can do. When they ride into their great tree, it goes into the fate rider and then the fate rider can potentially kill you. Yeah, and you can attack Re here, but the thing is, w w w when you have three attacks versus two attacks, right? Mm -hmm. You're not winning that grade two game, like like straight up, you, you are not winning that. I feel like yeah. Paris should have just rode up. Yep. They were at two damage before. Yeah, um, I and, agree. And that, at, at two damage, you can tank a first turn Fate Rider, right? And then you've progressed your game into your second, your your second, uh, you know, Lauren roll, uh, which is probably realized, better. yeah. Paris yeah. probably realized his error here, you know. Just yes. Better. But I, I don't know. A bit, a bit too late. The only, the only time that you were actually at a benefit to actually ride up to Great Tree was actually last turn. Yes. Yes. It's now your return too late. You have a damage too much. Mm -hmm. Now your fate yeah. rider turn is a bit, 
Uh, scary. A little awkward to guard, yeah. Yeah, it's so... not the worst. Three damage is still doable, right? But just if the Fate Rider gets a crit, then the turn becomes incredibly scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and White's got a pretty good board too, so it's like you got the upstream in there. You got ways to combo and make sure that these Easy numbers game. are hitting well. Yeah. Calls of Yuiko. We see the uh, Elementary Sanctuary, which is oh, good. This is, but a this is a pretty sad board. Good. Just a draw. I mean, that's the typical turn 3 of Lord and Roll. The deck pops off on turn 4 onwards, right? Yep. So I feel like getting to that turn 4 earlier would have also been a pretty good play, as we've been saying. But here, Paris chose to wait, prevent the Fate Raider for a turn. <clears throat> shut Like, you shut down some turns. But the, I can't help but think, like, what if the defensives weren't hit there? Like, it'd be so much rougher there. Yes, yes, it really would. Um, the, Ooh, crit the crit comes, comes out. Through, through. And that was a no guard, so it does go to five. Hits his Wait, own defensive. Five, yeah. the double defensive. Double defensive gets another draw. Okay, Th those both plays defensive checks are actually insane. Look at that. Yeah, mm -hmm. 100%. <laughs> Triple heal. <laughs> Gonna Quadra use the here. It's drawn to... And then you can just bounce, and then you can have an extra 5k shield. I mean, you know, it's still okay. It's still okay if you are on Paris' side, but still potentially very, very dangerous. Yeah, correct. So, Ekno attacking to rear. You can still proc the skill to draw. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to solve that grade nope, 3, Laurel. Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pretty big hand for Paris. Should be okay to blocks in these attacks. And now it's like, but you have know... You, have you seen Jet's, Jet's hand? Gendy's yeah. hand is huge. Hand is yeah. That being like said, book. you know, White's on, on five. That does mean that, you know, it's going to be Lorna roll. Five attacks normally. Going to be quite a bit of pressure. Yeah. Searching for the energy. Searching, ooh, searching for the Jet, so all the Bally's out. Right. Oh, yeah, I might already have drawn into it then. Because he does only play two Bali's as well and one crucial. So, I suppose they're already in hand for the mm -hmm. free draw. Or just setting up for a yeah, turn there we go. next day. Yeah, they, so yeah. they, they do it. have it. They do have that Bali. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Bottom decking the Yuika. Mm -hmm. Get a get a draw from the Bali, call down a, hopefully, we have a, well, you don't actually need a um, steam deep breath, right? I think you still want upstream, I mean, upstream here. Upstream, upstream. But I guess, yeah, you don't really have the you don't have the board space to be using upstream at this exact moment, so just calling down any other attacker could also be fine to the other column, and then swing with the Gungan Rum. Spin that back. Get an upstream out. You have soul to use GG and stuff. I feel like I hope it has enough GGs. Probably still has quite a few GGs in deck. I mean, like it, you, you can call it GG board. now. Yeah, you can yeah. call it GG but... now. Wouldn't be much of a problem. Or oh, what? Oh. Oh. oh, Bali. Calling from hand. Okay. Oh, Crucial Dragon. Hmm. Interesting. This hits. So they do have the potentiality of Lethal. Yeah, it's, turns it's the crucial to a zero. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty good. You get the extra soul from this. Don't get the retire. Could also just boost. Don't have to use crucial. And so you get to just swing, and then that Bally now is going to be a huge column, right? So yep. Twenty three, thirty one, thirty six after the crest power up. But I think here you'd you'd fate rider the crucial into a GG, right? And then put the power of the GG. Yeah, I yeah. would imagine so. Then we have the swing. Then. Alright, CB1. Fate Rider mm. up. Oh, we're throwing away the Sanctitude. I mean, that's not bad because oh. it is oh. a triple drive. What's happening there? Oh, calls the upstream. So, putting the GG back to deck, overcalling the the uh crucial with the upstream and then that way the upstream can call out a gg behind the bali bali 23 gonna be 28 with the crest buff and then get that uh boost to go to 36 plus 5k 41 so that's pretty good and this upstream should be 50, uh, 25 as well so overall numbers wise pretty strong i feel like this might be a take 
Gets a PG. Ooh, two PGs. That's not very useful in this matchup. Yep. Yeah. Gets a crit, though. But still all part of the plan, isn't it? Putting the power in the Bali here makes it really hard to guard. So you Ooh, can no. kind of accept the fact that upstream will be blocked relatively easily. So now the upstream is going to be... Um, oh, yeah, right. So this uh, favorite rider was blocked. Mm -hmm. So this is now 35, right? So... 15 and a 10. Let's check that trigger lineup again. So they are running fronts. They also run um, the transfer, but of course, already played a blitz order this turn, so can't use that. Mm -hmm. I mean, Ooh, taking one. two Ooh, damage. Are you sure, that buddy? You do get put yourself in heal range, but you've already seen most of your heals, so I don't know if it's really yeah, it's not worth three it. Heals are out. <laughs> I mean, okay, so it comes back to the to the the, the whole statement, right? Because Makes it. that the their hand is too good, their hand is too good. That's why they do not want to guard with it. <laughs> Calls a GG, yeah. yeah. So this is a forty-one k GG column. So twenty wow. k guard, one front. I mean, regardless of everything, as long as they have the order, the order, the null order, I think everything would still be. Mood, right? Loron and Roll wouldn't still be a threat. So going to five here, I'm not so sure. You I mean cats have nine lives, but you only have five. <laughs> four you have four four heals. <laughs> yeah. Right, you only have four <laughs> heals. I mean four heals, one OT, that's it. That's all you Wait, have. Wait, does it need that extra shield? Hold up. That's uh 23, 28, 31, 36, 36, 41. 41. You are at 20 and you hit a defensive. Oh, no, no, no. Where else is they, the power coming they, from? They would still need a 25k shield, right? So one front, one 5k shield. No, but if it's 41, right? Three, Maybe three, I'm bugging. Plus 8, 31, 31, plus 5, 36. It's yeah. 20. Four. Well, the Bali's 28, right? 28, yeah. Yeah. 36. With a... 13, 41. But it is 41, a 50k right? shield. Yeah, yeah, it's only a 50k. Oh, it's 20k shield because he had defensive. Shield. But, yeah, I mean, defensive. maybe we missed some detail. Um... I feel like the trigger went to the upstream, so maybe the hand is just too good. Yeah, that no, no. See, because because just it's filled with units. Drop 50K. <laughs> right, because it's filled with units, so they decide. You know, Paris decided. You know what? Instead of guarding the one damage, I'm gonna be guard. Uh, I'm gonna be. Wait, I am taking the two damage. Instead of guarding the two damage, I'm gonna take the two damage. <laughs> And still no booster, so I, I don't know. So it might not be a quality hand. It's more of a, you know what? It's an impulsive decision. It's a flex. Cats are whimsical that way, I suppose. <laughs> no booster for right, the Vanguard no, unit. In. I mean, he doesn't need to because he only stands two cards with uh, the effect here from the uh, Fractal. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see the guard here pretty huge attack get has a plus 10k buff on it as well it's also on, on a persona ride so 30k and now of course lorna roll gonna come on in with her own 33 with the guard district and uh weight being on five of course is gonna ask for yeah, a lot of you. cards but pg is gonna come through then it's gonna get burned so here, even so ot think, comes ooh. out here right then the double pg from the previous turn would save order order mm. that's not a good hand the blitz is all right you do have soul to use it so it's not the end of the world. 15, and there's going to be another 20k. So no triggers means... I mean, this hand has been reduced quite a bit. you got to burn these PGs here, though, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, oh, definitely, heal, yeah, definitely not throwing that heal there. Oh, mm. oh, no, never mind. No, <laughs> never mind. We'll never go mind. for it. Mm -hmm. I feel like White is just really confident in winning this turn. Because it's next stage he, time, I think. He knows he has next stage. He has a pretty strong board because the Bali stayed. Or my so that's going to be... A huge actual power board here coming in. So basically now with the crest itself, Bali's 33, 41 on the sign there. Oh no, sorry, 46. So that's already huge. Ooh, okay, why not? Uh, how much cards does weight have though? Yeah. They've been going through so No, so the much. heel trigger people... going into so... That means that there's a double trigger on the top deck just now. Mm. Okay, we have the next stage swinging, unboosted. 
Yeah, so Who's coming in with forty three, I believe. Forty three. Uh, like no, not even forty three. It's thirty eight. Thirty eight. I think Gandiva, their OT hasn't come out yet, right? Mm, both. Mm, don't think so. <laughs> no, don't think so. Both sides, I think. Oh, perfect guarding the Vanguard swing here. First and get upstream. Second check. Third then round and a crit. Wow, this All has right. been shit city <laughs> the whole time. I mean, for you know, the average jet player feels like they they check a lot more triggers. So White's definitely dealing with what he's given here. <laughs> Gonna use that next stage, yeah. rewrite into Chrono Jet, get that extra power, and now I'm leaving. I believe this the crit is on this column, so this will be 23. Uh, 33, 38, 46, oh, I want to so, say. It's so big. 56 if the crit is on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it comes, it comes back to why. why Eric's hand is not really that huge. Right. And Vite wants that Chrono Jet winner's card. Mm -hmm. He is yeah. here with Jet to win the Jet. The resolve may just be what makes the difference here. We'll have to... Definitely guard this, probably no guard the Vanguard. Yep. Just has that Sentinel Restrict. Um, uh, front crit is good. That should cover it, so <laughs> that is put you to but then, uh, 48. OT and comes I think that out was here, it'll get a crit. Right. And you go bye-bye, uh, come on. Yeah. yeah so you... I think here, this jet is is what? 18, 3 cards face us, a 33, 41. And so... With the transfer, you're quite not exactly there with it, but Ooh. you're kind of close. Ooh, all right. So things thrown down there. Mm. But that that minus is a crit if they get an OT right. But yes. Dark states gets another crit, so it doesn't <laughs> save you. That is true. But there is a fourth heal still in Paris's deck, right? Have we seen? We have 40k shield here. 53. Again, this Vanguard swing should be 41, so this should be two to pass. Okay. All right. Crit. First check crit. <laughs> Power on Vanguard, it looks like, and nothing. No, I feel like that went to rear, no? no oh, and Paris is going to take it, and it's going to be the six damage. Vite is going to take it over Paris and go to finals here With jet. in Ooh. this top four match. And uh, yeah, that was Jet kind of. Doing what Jet? Jet doing his thing. Like Jet, honestly. Like, I think I remember Jet from from last time, like pre bad, and then this is like Jet now. It doesn't really feel that much of a difference. But I think part <laughs> of it is also just because like Vite, I think maybe was, you know, not having experience playing as Jet after the restriction list, perhaps. But there's definitely a few plays that I feel like we we brought up here and there. You know, mm. things like not writing up earlier. Not yeah. dishing out the pressure earlier, not being able to deal with the Fate Rider turn that at, at less. Oh, you mean Paris? Like, Paris. Pressure, on Paris, yeah, on yeah. Paris' side, like yeah. not having as much of a of a pressure point to you know just be able to take those Fate Rider swings from like you know them ride skipping. So mm -hmm. I feel like that contributed quite a bit and didn't really help too much. But yep, yep. at the same time, yeah, it was yeah. a good fight and taking Lauren Roll to top four is also very commendable. So I mm -hmm. think that overall we got a beautiful beautiful top four match here and i think it sets, sets us up for a zorga versus jet match, yeah right in the finals no gandiva right. all the <laughs> just, just a heads up every single gandiva has that we've talked about even as a not fared well right we, nope. we talked about top eight gandivas they all they all fell in top eight uh yeah so ao is cool. just not a gandiva friendly region it seems you know it's it really isn't. <laughs> not, not, yeah, for really Will, isn't. not for Willista either, it seems. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Willista didn't yeah. make top 8 either, so the two decks that we expected to do the best Did didn't manage to make it up. But looks like we have an update on our entire top 4 leading into finals, so let's take a look at the bracket and see what it looks like here. And we have our two finalists. It's going to be Byte versus BZE. BZE has been making it throughout the gauntlet the entire top 8 won the mirror match on top four and is now going to meet Vite in the finals after Vite just defeated Paris here in the top four of the feature match. So it's going to be a hype finals. You don't want to miss it. And I cannot mm -hmm. wait to get into it and see Jet versus Zorga, the Striders versus the Masks. <laughs> you know, it feels like 
the two camps that are often debating between each other what is better is it the <laughs> strike well is it the mass decks it's Gandiva. <laughs> well, people people it's say the, the mass decks are built to counter the stride deck, so we'll right? see if this this happens, if this is reality. All right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We'll I, see. I'm very I, curious. I can, I can kind of see which camp Kai is leaning on here. <laughs> the thing is, Vite. I'm not gonna lie, Vite's got that jet power fighting for the jet promo. But I come feel on. like Zorga. Come on. Isn't he yeah, the but... only jet in the top eight of every single region? Let me quickly check here. Maybe, I, but I, I just want like to point might, out they might be, I, they might be. Yeah, I want to point out jets. Don't no, never really mind. Work. There's, there's two in you. <coughs> yeah, jets don't really work well in water, you know. <laughs> I guess. But I guess there's jet skis. So there's jet skis, bro. Skis. He can, yeah, he can transform. Yeah. You know, Kuro Jet is a man. Yeah, Kuro Jet S. That's right. That's <laughs> right. But with okay. that. I think uh, we are, I'm not sure if we're going straight into finals here or if we're going to give our players a little pause to get ready. Looks like we are going to give our players a quick pause, you know, just to mm -hmm. catch a catch a breather, get a water. And uh, of course, for you viewers as well, make sure to stay hydrated and, uh, you know, take a minute to get ready because it's going to be hype finals. You don't mm -hmm. want to miss it. So if you got to go get a snack, go get it now. You got to get, get a drink, go get it now. Because after this, we're going to jump into the finals. But first, a short break. And then we'll be back to crown our first winner of Vero 2023 Standard here live on this lovely Twitch channel. We'll see you there. Reading books or even if you're starting out in Japanese, reading manga. Mm -hmm. That's the, one of the easiest ways. Go for the lower age yeah. mangas like uh, Buddy Fight. We have Core Core Comic. Yeah. 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 The Japanese magazine. Just get a copy and just try to read. Yeah. Whatever's in there. Uh, yeah. Then after that, JLPT, uh, the mm -hmm. Japanese language proficiency test, pass. Or if you can go all the way to level one, that, mm -hmm. that at least shows your employer that you yeah. have the skills. Yeah. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't say it's absolutely necessary because mm -hmm. as with any language, you know, just just being able to speak it, write it, uh, write it, you know, it shows that you know the language. Yeah. And then from people who know the language will know what level of proficien uh, proficiency you are at. Yeah, but so it, I, I guess it's just good to really just, you know, show it. I, I can do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's just uh, documentation that you yeah. know. Yeah, because yeah. from what I know, I think, Terence, you don't have any JLPT at all. No, no, no. And yet, you know, everyone who needs help with Japanese in offices, they just go to you. Yeah, because I, if you stay in the country long enough, it yeah. becomes natural. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you, so it's, I wouldn't say, you know, we wouldn't say JLPT is absolutely necessary, yes, but, but it's, it's just good, good to have. have. Yes, it's not just to show it because I, I think people, you know, that's a kind of like official uh, verification that, you know, mm. you know, you can, you, know, you have uh, proficiency in this language. Also depends on your employer. If your employer is, really requires a proof that you do know yeah. the language. Yeah. But uh, there are companies out there who actually just test your proficiency mm -hmm. during the interviews. Yeah. Right. So it, it again depends on the company who's going to hire you. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So Terence tips uh, for everyone is uh, just <laughs> immerse yourself in the language, you mm -hmm. know, in Japanese language, if you want to translate Japanese for right. a living. Or yeah. if you want to translate other languages, just yeah. Yeah, same thing. learn, um, adapt, be really good at it. Mm -hmm. At least a normal conversation. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And I suppose the kind of uh, uh, things you're translating for matters as well. Like you, you can be interested in Japanese language, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you also have to be interested in, let's say, the anime and manga culture if that's what you want, want to, to translate. Do, yeah, because yeah, if not, you might not get the, the puns or, or the references. A lot of con uh, references and connotations that come with a lot of different words. Right, right. Yeah. So I suppose, you know, if you want to be working in the industry, I guess you have to be interested in that industry as well. It's definitely a plus. Yeah. 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 Because if not, a lot of things you just wouldn't get. Yeah, it just goes over your head. Yeah. So <laughs> thank you so much for sharing all your insights here with us. No problem. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Because as one of the longest standing employee of Bush Road, you know, you definitely have a lot of valuable experience to share with us. So thank you so much for the interview today. And uh, I think yeah. we'll just, yeah, I think that's, that's all we have for today. Yeah. So thank you so much. It's great thank being you. here. Yeah. Thank you. Bandari Girls Band Party! Poppin Party! Kira Kira
ドキドキしたいなアフターグロー今日もいつも通り行こうパステルパレットみんなで最高のステージにしようねロゼリアこのメンバーで頂点を目指すわハローハッピーワールド世界を笑顔にモルフォニカ輝く景色を一緒にレイザースイレン暴れる準備はいい個性豊かなバンドメンバーとライブを成功させようリズムゲームパートではゲームオリジナル楽曲がたくさん遊べるさらにライブ背景を MV にして遊べる楽曲もそしてリズムゲームの体感もパワーアップ有名カバー楽曲も続々登場知ってる楽曲でたくさん遊べるよ最大5人での協力ライブが可能みんなで協力してライブを成功させようバンドライフを楽しむアドベンチャーパートラウンジでは次々に交わされるメンバーたちの会話が見られるよチャンピオンシップサンデーチャンピオンシップマッチ We are here, everyone, back once again for the finals of the AO region here for the standard format of Bushra Rumble Online 2023. If you're just tuning in, we are your casters, myself, Different Fight, joined by Kai and Amar here. And of course, we've had some wonderful games. Eight rounds of Swiss yesterday, a very hyped top eight and top four match. But now it's all led up to this the final game, which will determine who wins it all, who gets the title. Who gets their full play set of prize cards on top of the other goodies and swag that they win, and who has to be crowned second place instead? It's gonna be hype. Kai, how are you feeling after these two days of competition leading up to the finals? I mean, we expected Lista vs. Gandiva, instead, we get Zorga vs. Jet. <laughs> It's poetic. It's poetic. <laughs> It's poetry in motion. It's poetry in motion. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> what, what do you think, Amar? Did you expect Zorga? Where was, where was Minerva, by the way? Just, just... Where are my Minerva knees? <laughs> True. <laughs> my Minervians. Minervans. My Minervians. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. right. I mean, I mean we, we, got, we got a reason why we're not up here. You know, BT11 hasn't set in yet. You know, we're not ready. We're just gonna wait for BCS, we're gonna wait for the next step, and then we're gonna wreck. I hope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm in over there, please. If you look at the JP results, man, mm. BC11 is mm. gonna be kind to it. But that's in the future. <laughs> Here we are in the present, and we have our two final players. Let's take a look at the decks they are bringing one last time just to get a quick review. Of course, we've had both these players on stream today already, but first we have Vite. The Corona Jet player, the one and only one in the top eight, fighting for those Jet promos, try to win the whole playset. It would be poetic for them to take the whole thing, but they're gonna have a big wall to climb against their opponent. BZ. BZ. The one and only B. Z. -E. Big Z E. <laughs> and with the Zorga, and it's, I mean. Not like, much to say, Lamar, right? <laughs> remember, like like we mentioned before, the mask was built to beat the, the stride, right? Stride. But does that actually is that actually real? Is that real life? Will that happen? Will Jet take the take the win, or will Zorg, uh, Zorga Zorg the win? Right? We will see. Right. We will see. <laughs> Chris, we like, sorry to run out of a, run out of verbs, bro. <laughs> we, just we just create our own, own verbs right now. Mm, okay. Mm, That's right. This is how it is. Chris, are you ready for the finals? Are you ready to go? I'm very hyped. Are, Looking are forward Zorgan? to seeing it. I'm Zorgan, bro. I'm Zorgan? actually... Yeah. I'm shuffling a Zorgan deck in my hands right now as we speak. It's, it's Zorgan time. time. <laughs> Let's <Yes>. go. <laughs> now, will Zorga go first? Is it Zorgan time right now? Mm. Ooh, it's looking like Jet. I, nope. <laughs> the Jet text first, but yeah. Oh. Still can go. Right. I mean, it's not the end of the world for Jet. And you saw... I mean, we saw just now how exactly aggressive, yeah, white can get. Even, even, the, you know, going first, going second doesn't matter. They're just gonna slap down that field. It's gonna be as aggressive as ever. Well, let's see if they can keep up that momentum in this game right here. Okay, but 
Here's a real question. Does White want to be aggressive against mm. BZ? Because going second, BZ can straight up just, just go into Persona Ride right immediately with a mask. Mm -hmm. and if oh, give, and the aggro. Yeah, if if you give too much counter blast to BZ as well, they can capitalize on that Ooh. and you know use it, create a better field than before. So you might want to do a bit of damage control and you know a bit of stalling mm -hmm. uh, as the jet player. Ooh. Ooh, takes two damage already. That's pretty huge considering that, you know, this aggression is only going to keep up. We saw the Shadow Cloak get drive checked, so that's going to get played next turn, most likely. Ooh, dishing this Argon. Now, there's a very juicy target for White to swing into. Can swing straight into the Great One, but going for the uh, Gungaram here, able to get a card draw as well. And mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Extra cards is good. good. Go. Thumbs up formation. Z Zargon actually playing aggressive again. So yep. this is this is scary because if I'm busy here, I'm looking at that hand. I'm going mm, three cards in a hand. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Can he guard my roaming prison dragon that might come out later? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. So so we might be seeing that. You Ooh, know, like, the keel. Love to see oh. it. That's a great five k drop. You mm -hmm. just take this Vanguard swing. Let them have the Zargon. It's like you're yeah. like. You can turn off the soul gain. Ooh, and he's... Oh, I thought about it. Want to pass. What? That doesn't, doesn't, hit. doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. No soul for you. No GG use. Unless you build that soul yourself through <laughs> raw riding. This is pretty intense. And we're going to see the crit go to damage as well. Stay on one damage. And the Biss Harvest stays on board too. So that means you can just make a column with that Shadow Cloak on yeah. top of that. So I mean, yeah, I don't know if you keep that beast alive. You <laughs> yep. know, it's like a perfect opportunity. You can swing side, but yep. Does it seem to... Ooh, and gets to play out the order here too. You definitely mm. want to, yeah, thin the deck with Shadow Cloak first. Use that Shadow Cloak mm. to get rid of the mask. I think. Yep. Gonna <laughs> just drop that into the drop zone and be able to start searching. I mean, it's going pretty mass. well for BZE right here. You know, you know, slowly but surely, they're the ones building mo momentum. And then you see White, even the board state speaks everything, right? It speaks volume. Their own board is giving Double them the thumbs cloak. down. <laughs> yeah. Double cloak. Um, it's pretty huge. Big decks in. Also just going RPD. Ooh. Nope. They are all the magic. Yeah, getting more orders in there. Setting up the Alchemagic that now has the uh, an L formation going here. The L formation against the thumbs down formation. That's right. <laughs> yeah. The reverse L formation. The reverse <laughs> L formation. Hmm? But yeah, just can do a bit of swings. Yeah, I mean, you can do there's, bang there's... out first if you want the front, <laughs> or can even hit yeah, sides. Yeah, can play for it. That's all he needs. Yeah. Because there are rear guards that you can swing into as well. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh. thinking, oh. about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Thinking. Those have some. We could potentially play an order here, but gonna choose not to. Mm -hmm. Preserve for so later. Attacking the the upstream. The side? Mm -hmm. Upstream. Oh. Oh. Okay. Takes it. Gets a Zorga mask. Zorga mask. 10k to. You can attack the side as well. Regard here. It's kind of the same thing. Discarding a draw. Now attacking Vanguard, I assume. It's a 15k shield. Okay. You gotta good. stay low. You gotta stay low, because if you're forced to take a take an RPD swing, then way better to take it. Ooh, gotta, gotta go for a shield. at lower damage. Mm -hmm. um, but discarding a crit to kind of... Uh, it's getting a crit to a ride. That's and by the time it's solo, it's actually <laughs> solo yeah. tragic. I think the game might be over if something unfortunate happens the next turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like if right. you have no defensive <laughs> tools and like Zorga just kind of does his thing, it's it's rough. Even if it doesn't end next turn, it's gonna be pretty rough to sustain for another turn to even like get to next stage here. Yep, yep. Like busy. Like we we see the mask there. I assume from the Shadow Cloaks, the, the mask is also ready. Um, so you can just go straight to mask up, Persona Ride, hopefully get some RPDs, and then go boom, right? Go yep. boom, boom, right? <laughs> yeah. Shadow Cloak. 
looks like it's getting attacked into yeah. or accepted away, whichever works. BZ kind of want to open up these circles anyway. Yeah, more than happy to give it. So, assuming that this hits Vanguard, you want to see no something gosh. right now. Yeah. So yeah, it's good. still okay. Yeah, still okay. Second check. Gungan Ram. Okay, Gungan Ram. no big crits or heals. So, PG damage. goes to damage for BZ, but we know those PGs can be recycled by uh, quite a few resources in BZ's deck. And this will be a 28 swing. So, it's gonna need bit. a front to guard. But it looks like they're gonna just take it. Not too worried about it. Yes, the crit defensive. Still okay. This will just stun the first heal from uh, Bite that they might check defensively. So, also not bad. But is it good though? Now <laughs> we have BZ's turn. He's, his field is pretty good. There's a Shadow Cloak there that you can keep around. Um, just not sure what's in the drop zone. Um, but if we have that Persona ride going and there's a, there's some RPDs there, he's got a very strong turn ahead of him. Otherwise, it would be quite sad. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you just have to make a normal field. All right. A, a, a disappointing Shadow Cloak field. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are worse, but... <laughs> <laughs> true, not... true. All right. It could be Ooh, worse. Reviving Shadow Cloak. This could be nice just to get some triggers back to hand and uh, see what else can get revived. We do know that there's the um, Forbidal in the drop, so you can Alchemagic that away and then call out your... Uh, Zorga masks bounce it back with the shadow cloak. It's uh, mm -hmm. looking pretty good here, and then immediately mask up into Zorga mask. Like one thing we haven't really given credit for BZ is just like he oh, did play no. this deck really well. Like it's uh, not exactly the easiest deck to pilot for many rounds and like eight rounds of Swiss into top eight and just going undefeated so far with it in top eight has been definitely very impressive to watch. And now. Definitely liking a little bit of the attacker department here. No Shadow Cloaks. Gonna just mask up immediately. Henshin. So does have the Zorga. And gonna get a card draw from the Persona right here. Yeah. Ooh, immediately, yeah. Uh, Alchemagic. Alchemagic almost immediately. Alright, RPD, let's go. Pulls out. Pull out like if you put two close to the front, you have no RPDs in the bin, right? So mm -hmm. you basically all of this is just gonna be a big swings this turn only. Yep, let's see it. Four big deck thin gets that mill, and of course, the Forbidal needs to call out now the two cards. So it's gonna be yep, Zorga masks as well as the Roaming Prison Dragon, and of course. Gonna get that bounce off of your Shadow Cloak as well. Soul Blast out something. Musk and head. Right for next turn. It's pretty good. Pretty okay. Pretty okay. Pretty okay, then. Still the advantage here. Yeah. Um, I like it. I like. I like what what Busy e is doing here. Clearly, he knows what he's doing with the Zorg, the Zorga combos. I mean. If it were me, I would have just rammed in. Oh, yeah, yeah, RPD, RPD, that's it. Attack. <laughs> oh, we're gonna make the dragon tree here. I quite like that. So, just making sure that we have the pressure. I mean, we, it's like you don't have RPD, but you do have like double, you know, plus 10k, Persona Ride plus Organ Mask's effect. So, kill severing was called out or guarded with uh, mm -hmm. very early. Okay. So, we know that that's in the drop. Of course, you have to be a bit careful with, uh, you know, your Kennel Blast here, but. Even then, um, you know, going Shoot. in with this, you're gonna have the 35k uh, Shadow Cloak on the side. We're gonna just go Vanguard Swing immediately, 33k, and be like, okay, I'm in heal range, and mm -hmm. you know guard, okay. We get an order. Nothing. Mm, not super hot, but let's see. There's gonna be 38 and 35. So the attacks are still relevant, and like because White's hand is so small. It's pretty hard to card these as well. Yeah, this is actually good for white because all of these are only dealing one damage. So yep. it needs to just can do guard everything. Lucky there was no RPD ready. Uh, otherwise, yep. it'd be way more pressure. Um, but it's it's the next 
the next turn for BZ will still be very strong if Wei gets pushed to five because you'll get more draws, of course, when you start striding at the triple. Ooh. Oh, oh Z gets trigger. removed already. That's that? both good and bad. Yep. Yeah. Shutting down the turn is good. This can now swing into the upstream, which is also nice because it's relatively huge for the upstream to, you know, to justify guarding this upstream. And, like, that's the second upstream that's out for Vine, which means that the upstream combos might get shut down for the next turn. Oh. Oh, did he put the OT power on the upstream? Oh, wow. Wow. Interesting. That looks like, looks like that might have been the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be right, easy I mean, to just value That's an him. interesting placement. Yeah, I mean, basically just going, I need to keep this upstream alive so I can GG to draw cards. And if I don't have it, it's going to really impact my offenses. So here, we're going to use Jet to bounce back. Is it the Shadow Cloak or the Bist? I feel like it could be the Bist, but it's going to be the Shadow Cloak. Hmm. Interesting choice. I mean, it's still fine. It's, uh, you know, you theoretically have... Crucial to retire more stuff, but it's only a one of, so it not being searched so far probably means it's not there. You can, because you can relatively attack both of the Shadow Cloaks this turn if you really want to. Yeah. But from, from this attack pattern, the boost, I don't think, doing that. Tying the Gandiva. Okay. <laughs> yep. The Gandiva. I mean, not the Gandiva. <laughs> that is the Gandiva, man. That yep. is indeed a Gandiva. Yeah, I mean, well, well, Bite is Gandiva. Yeah. Bite is Gandiva. His board is Gandiva. We've had it yeah. burned into our minds. Gigi <laughs> uh, here. Getting the. Not draw. the Gigi. <laughs> Not the Gigi. Gigi? Gigi? Depending on which region you're from. Yeah. I mean, is it called Gear Chronicle or is it yeah, Gear Chronicle? Yeah, Gear Chronicle or Gear Chronicle. I don't know, but it's <laughs> Energy, bro. <laughs> energy. Uh, okay. Gear next? Is that, is that the. Zorga? <laughs> my favorite. Yeah, favorite Zorga part. or Zorja. 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 Yeah. <laughs> All right, we see here the Fate Rider is going to put back that um, Zargon in order to call out the upstream. And we'll continue to loop some draws, and of course, the on hit here gonna generate some soul. But if you're busy, I don't think you want to give this on hit the permission to hit. Mm -mm. Hand is a bit limited, though. Gonna use the PG, most likely. Hovering over M it. Yeah, musing you can over no it. No guard it if you're feeling risky. <laughs> yep, if you're feeling lucky. But you are, you are, you are Zorga, so you can. Technically, access a PG. Pretty oh, blank, to... blank, crit. crit. We've seen this exact pattern of checks before, too. Yes, yes. Upstream coming in here. So, this is going to be uh, 25, 35, 33, 30. I think it's just 33. Did this GG get called this turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than 38. <laughs> it's kind of huge. Two damage coming in. Oh. BC is pushing his. Damage down, kind of preparing for it. <laughs> <laughs> the damage. Checking the soul. He's Here like, it is. Yo, can you... Boom. Oh. There's a mask. And the order, no defensives. It's and been blank CD. It's been blank CD. Don't the think compression. we have soul for GG here. So it's going to be the Zargon coming out again. Oh, no, it's going to no, be the Lin. Okay. That does generate a soul. Yep. And then his last attack. Okay. Should be able to guard this, right? BZ's hand, not the best, but... It could end all right here. <laughs> <laughs> so right, Zargon. One. Goes to Soul, and this is going to be Death. the final swing of the turn for Vite. Death by and Fate Rider. Right no. Alright, if you think he dropped. Still missing a bit more. This should be... Maybe 28. Another 10 k should do, yeah. 33. Huh. This does not bode well when they start thinking like this. <laughs> I mean, he's committed to half a guard, so mm -hmm. I'm assuming they can block this attack, but the hand is insanely low. Oh, he's intercepting yep. there. Okay. So it was 28. And it will guard it. And now we know there's a Zorga Mass in hand, so the Persona Ride is active. 
Boom. There's a but shadow cloak. in hand, though. Oh, yeah, they, I mean, I mean, he, he can generate it. No problem. He has the order. He also hasn't banished his Blue Zorga yet mm -mm. Um, to get back more orders if he needs to. You can revive Shadow Cloak. You have a Roaming Prison Dragon in there as well. Don't have a second one, though. That's like the only unfortunate thing. Mm. There's a Keel mm. Severing. Four damage, you can theoretically go RPD, swing for crit, swing Vanguard, call a Keel, and then just threaten crit pressure after that. Also works. And the whole time, you're still in heal range, so... BZ is navigating this pretty carefully, but despite, you know, we were kind of critical of Vite's aggro early, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but he seems to be working out. Yeah. Yep, yep. I told you that the thumbs down position, the formation was, was impeccable. <laughs> it's showing the opponent the different how you sign. look at it. <laughs> it's, it's showing the Depends opponent how you a look different at it. sign. You know? It could be, the, the, could be a thumbs up from a different perspective. <laughs> I mean, it could also be a P, right? The it, could be, it could be a Q. It's yeah. a Q formation. <laughs> Depends how you, right. how you set it up, yeah. <laughs> reverse, a Q is a reverse P, if you think about it. Mm -hmm. And a P <laughs> is just an upside down B. Ain't no way. <laughs> oh, see the this is deep, That's bro. deep. Look That's deep. Shadow Cloak coming back. Shadow Cloak's like, I don't... What is he talking about, bro? I'm trying to, I'm trying to take this game. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get the Elka Ooh. Magic here for big revives, actually. So... Can probably revive a PG off of this order, and that would be pretty huge on its own. Right, so so... is a PG in like is a PG enough though? Because the next turn is gonna be a pretty devastating turn. Four for attacks. Diva. The Four next attacks. stage kill, yeah. The next yeah. stage kill is coming. But the crests are gonna be very strong. Everything will be at least two card guard, and your hand size just doesn't have the maths to guard me. Mm -hmm. So final turn right here. Uh, I think it is. I think it is. Final turn with no RPD. Let's go. All right, we're bringing stuff back. And Soul Blast one, get the mask out of there, bounce the PG back. We do have the. Uh, grade one of the ride oh, line there, is in there as well. Ooh, the rank of chain. RPG. Kill is also it's time. In, yeah, the, the pressure, RPG. the crit pressure. This is what you want. I mean, this basically allows you to go double rearguard swing for the lethal pressure, and then vanguard swing for crit pressure. Gets another dragon tree <laughs> token as well, or marker rather. <clears throat> so yep. Now we are looking at. We did get the Persona Ride plus the Alka Magic plus 10k, so this is 15, 20, 30, 40, 48. Ooh. Two crit, twice. 50 on the wow. other side. Wow. That's a doubles. The set is a Wait, have enough hands to guard this? That's 43. Plus the Argandia also, gonna use the effect. Do have a face up card in the G zone. Ooh, attacking Vanguard now. This is a perfect time to no guard if you want to no guard. Yep, this is the only timing you're gonna get. Vite managed to build up quite the quite the hand, so we're gonna use the PG here. Sanctity Dropping the GG. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh. Nope, gonna be the Zargon. The Zargon. All right, twin drive, a very important one. The overture <laughs> comes out no. and turns this wow. little severing into a force to be reckoned with. It is going to have all the extra effects, and of course, Ouch. not going to stop there. We get all of the effects from the Blessed Favor here. Two a lot of power, sides. a lot of crits. <laughs> does, Gandiva have the, does Gandiva have the extra crit? The, the out, the extra out here. You have no OT to rely on. Heal is your best friend right now. I know that movement. I know that finger movement. This is <laughs> this this is despair incarnate. <laughs> if you gotta take something, you gotta take something. <laughs> They're both swinging for two crit, which means yes. you hit one heal, survival chances there. And you swing with the OT first, that means you can hard guard the last attack if you do see the defensive heal. So it's not over yet. Don't give up hope. There is a chance he only has one PG in this hand, so he has to like PG this and then maybe he doesn't have enough shield value, but looks like 
all the motions they they make it feel like there is going to be a take here checking how many heals are left even put it to the top of the drop zone two damage first check nothing second check heal trigger is going to survive <laughs> on the sixth damage heal the protagonist powers don't end there vite wants those jets was came here to fight for the jets and is gonna do it the pg comes through it did have the one pg left in hand and we see bite survive the lethal over trigger it felt like things managed to go as perfectly for bze as possible but it still wasn't enough but we don't see a next age here it's gonna be the second fate rider i mean you know life life and never die right Six damage Life heals. Life never die. Six damage heals are my favorite guy. Yeah? They are my favorite guy. <laughs> that is Man. for sure. Bye. Let us see what the future holds. Carefully think. Do, do, yeah, don't forget about a soul charge here. Very important. Playing. How, how is PC going to handle this, though? I don't know, man. I mean, I mean, you still have four. It's still a bit of a comfortable position, you know. Like I said, heal is your best friend. It was for white. It could be for BZE as well. The god of yeah, the goddess of are coming in. Sing one way. Don't forget to CB. <laughs> you flip the <laughs> next stage. Don't forget to CB for it. Yeah. When the fate rider is glad. Let's hope these trigger checks are nothing to be sad. Oh, I, like I don't that. know, but the maths doesn't really add up in, in a way, right? Like, VZ has kept on playing on low hands, but it's a, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a triple drive and everything yep. is massive. It's all mm -hmm. crests. Yeah, crest has been pushing these numbers quite a lot here. We're going to get a quick tr trigger count here, most likely. We've seen quite a few crits, but... Going through the motions, giving us the information here. Yeah, quite a few crits. Trigger check's not looking great. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You get that trigger count, you know. BZ high roll the last turn. Wait, technically high roll. That's 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 a, that's, a, that's a hat. There's no god. No Upstream PG and a, and a crit to kind of seal it. Two damage for BZ. Pure perfect guard into a kill severing. Vite Ogandiva will be your Bush Road Rumble Online 2023 standard champion for the AO region. Oh wow. Yeah, I mean <laughs> what a what a range of emotions, right? Like if you have that OT pop it off, you you you're looking at that, you're going, oh damn. That, yeah, that's it. This and then the it. six that's six damage healing, like, whoa, that's a, whoo, well, it's a, feels, that's a, that's close, right? <laughs> that was, I feel like these players in this top eight have given us such nail-biter gameplay. We've had such ridiculously close games, and I don't know, man, Amar, I feel like it's pretty poetic that the Jet player manages to win the Jet tournament. It feels, it feels, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see... A couple of dudes in chat go like scripted, scripted, but no, this this dude took things into his own hands and he brought victory to himself. That was fought for tooth and nail. That was incredibly close. I mean, I mean, I mean, the goddess of luck shines on whoever that she wants to, yeah. And it seems that white is that chosen person. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. It was good. All right. Beautiful. So I think with that, we have a bit of a short break while we get the winner's interview set up. So everyone, make sure to stay seated, get ready, because we're going to be asking some questions. And, uh, That's right. Should be The jet man <laughs> going to get asked about how they feel about winning all these jets. It's going to be great. <laughs> so look forward to that. Stay tuned for the winner's interview. And of course, don't forget, while we have concluded the tournament for the AO region, there is still more action from the EU and NA side later today. So make sure you don't miss that too. Follow all the Bush Road channels, which you can find below by just scrolling down if you're watching this live on Twitch or otherwise on in the description. But with that, we're going to go for a short break while we prepare the winner for this interview. So don't go anywhere. Uh, this person... 
and we get to work together even closer. Yeah. I think that's very satisfying. Yeah. How are they? Were they were they nice to you? Yeah. No, they took great care of me. Did they bring you around for good food in USA? Yeah. We went some when we went for meetings through dinner. Yeah. Meetings at dinner. Yeah. yeah I would like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So you get to travel a lot for work. I imagine that must be very exciting for you. Because I think, I mean, not a lot of jobs out there actually offer this incentive, this slight perk of being able to travel for work. How's that like for you? So I enjoy meeting new people and people, uh, our fans, card game fans. Mm. So I think that's one perk that I really find refreshing mm. when I travel for work, even though I'm tired. But you know, all the smiles on their face like when they play the tournament, it gives me a sense of satisfaction. And just being able to travel for work, it's a blessing. So I'm very thankful and very grateful for this opportunity. Yeah. But I imagine at the same time, it, it must be tiring. Of course, it's enjoyable yeah. on one hand, but you know, especially if you fly a long hours to, uh, from Singapore to US, you know, yeah. like a, about a 20 hours flight, yeah. give or take. I imagine it must be tiring and then uh, you have to you know, help out with the events, attend some conference. It's kind of like giving back to the community. You know, you're helping the game grow and you're helping yourself grow too. You, know, you go through the tiring days of work, after that you get to recover. You know, it's all the experiences you get, uh, it's, it's very memorable. Mm -hmm. And flying overseas means I get to work with uh, colleagues that are overseas that don't get the chance to see them so getting to know them better is very rewarding yeah so is there any important life skill that you actually have learned in the course of your work yeah definitely and as I emphasized earlier uh, it's being patient and resilient you know uh, things might not seem worth it right now and as time goes on, it will add up. So uh, small adjustment matters, I guess. Uh, small uh, feats matters. So maybe you go for an extra sale. Maybe it's just very little. But each time you go for the extra sale, you know, it, it adds up to be a lot. Yeah. So you have to be patient and resilient because you're not always going to get it. Is there anything that you can share with us, you know, uh, for anyone who might be interested in joining the sales or logistics industry? So the sales and logistics industry is very big. You know, there's the consumer side, uh, the business side. So once the, if the industry is this big, there's a lot of job opportunities for you to, uh, you know, work there and gain some experience. What are the skills that you think are important in sales and logistics? I imagine uh, probably driving might be one of them. So I guess sales and logistics, uh, driving is important. Uh, maybe if you have prior experience in maybe forklift, uh, if you have a license in forklift, it's very easy to get a job in warehouse. You know, they need forklift drivers. You have to be very practical in logistics because the logistics is a very uh, heavy on numbers and also sales, there's also very heavy on numbers and figures mm. that you need to work it, work it out. Mm. Wow, uh, thank you so much, Hwanta, for sharing with us so much uh, insights into the job thank that you. you do. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank, you, right. thank you for having me too. No problem. <laughs> Miss, please. A description of your job in Bushy Road. Yeah, I do sales and logistics. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Hello, Serene. Hey. Thanks Hello. for joining me in this uh, Coffee of Bushy Road series. Yeah, I understand you have been with Bushwood for like a couple of months now, you know, at this time of shooting. Yep. Yeah, and uh, you do marketing for Vanguard. Yep. Yep. Okay, so uh, as you can see, we have prepared a little bit of snacks and uh, coffee, tea, 
and some drinks for us. Mm. Yeah. So um, before we begin the interview, what would you like? Coffee or tea or water for you? Tea. Tea? Yep. Okay. Thanks. Okay, all right, Serene. So you are the marketer for Vanguard. So maybe you could mm. market to us, you know, just a bit of uh, the kind of work that you do on a day-to-day -day routine. Okay, I do. Um, as a marketer, I mainly do the marketing materials. Mm. Then, uh, so you, so there's like the you hand, manage the the stuff that goes on to social media, and then you deal with newsletters, and then you also liaise with other departments like the design team, the video team, to make sure that you get accompanying materials to put together. I mean, mm -hmm. to put, they go together to put to present to fans. Okay. Con content. Yeah. So you actually do have to communicate with a lot of different departments for your job as marketing? Mm, definitely. Okay. Because, I mean, as marketing is not, I mean, not everything comes out of, of the marketer alone. So like, say for example, I mean, the banners definitely you need the design team. And then if there are um, video showcases, then there's a, there's, there's a specialized team for that. So, I mean, I think that's also one of the good parts of being a marketer because I mean you get to work with many people while wearing many hats at the end you get something nice to present to the fans and, and viewers I think that's a nice end products that you can get from okay. the marketing and then as the marketing in charge for Vanguard which is one of uh, one of our best selling titles do you ever feel like uh, the pressure to perform mm. you know, as compared to let's say you, you were to handle something else would you feel like, oh, I, I, I need to you know, step up my game all the time because you're feeling all this pressure? Mm, I would say half-half on this. It is natural to feel pressured to deliver more results as compared to other products. But at the same time, from a marketing standpoint, you have a lot of data to work with. Mm. So um, it's good that I... I mean, I'm thankful that I have more data and insights to look at and to see okay so from there how can i improve or what kind of new things i can present to everyone mm. yeah okay now i understand uh, as marketing you deal with quite a bit of sensitive information especially mm -hmm. information probably from japan but is there anything uh, that you can share with us that how would you how would you able to use like uh, the data that you mentioned in order to do something uh, like a marketing campaign? Mm, actually for data it can be it can come in a variety so, so say for example you can use um, like sales statistics to look at how did each past product perform and then for at for other initiatives you can look at so what kind of campaigns have been done before how did they perform they are not materials that spoon feed you answers but it is something good for you to infer from and work something from there mm. yeah okay so i guess as marketing you actually have to work a lot on data as well okay at least for this industry it is not entirely e-commerce based so i would say the reliance on data is still there, just that I personally, in my opinion, it is not as much as, yeah. So like say, for example, if you are, if you are an e-commerce based company, most likely even your sales, everything, it's all online. And those data you have to rely on more as compared to non-e-commerce platforms, your data is separated and you need to piece them together and figure out something. Yeah. Actually, you raise a very good point because uh, our industry, they don't deal directly with uh, digital goods mm. or even ordering online on a website. Because mm. uh, when, 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 if we do that, you, know, that you, you can easily track all the data and then we find out uh, how we can improve our services uh, to our players and customers directly mm. you know, from the data that we can gather. I guess there is a challenge in our industry, like how to get the data from physical goods. Mm. Yeah, it can be said that way. I understand you held a previous uh, job prior to joining Bridge Road as a marketing uh, position as well. Mm -hmm. uh, are there any main differences between that and this one? My previous company mainly de dealt with e-commerce 
and unlike unlike in Bushu, which is more of a brick and mortar business model. Mm -hmm. So I mean, as a marketer, um, definitely it is something that I will adapt to and. Welcome back everyone. We are here now after all has been said and done. Of course, the tournament is done, but we have crowned our winner. And it's time to hear from the man himself and introduce our winner for today for the BRO 2023 AO Region Standard winner. That is Vite. Oh, and Diva, how are you doing, man? Welcome. <laughs> so, for people, you know, they've been watching They've been watching you play, but give us a short uh, self-introduction just so people can uh, find out more about you. <laughs> That's true. That's true. It is actually <laughs> the the cheapest deck in, in format. And that's, mm -hmm. we were talking about that at, at the beginning too. You know, if you're mm. a JP format player, it's the easiest way to get into the English format. But that aside, dude, you've had uh, some very exciting games, a long day one of eight rounds of Swiss, and now you managed to make it all the way through top eight. How are you feeling after having taken it all? Uh, I owed it a lot, so uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I think uh, Ben OT, yeah, I mean, that's it. <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, <laughs> can't can't get this far with just luck, man. It's uh, it's still a, a a gruesome tournament, and we definitely you know saw quite a lot of games that really came down to the wire, especially this finals match. I mean, how did it feel when you know it feels like it just happened a few moments ago, but you know your opponent basically had it like lethal setup, and you had to bank on the six damage shield and managed to find it to secure that that game like how did it feel in that moment oh uh, yeah i was trying to play around the OT, uh by like raw guarding pg'ing the center and then i realized he could just pump it to the kill severing and then i i would die that was like oh damn <laughs> playing around the OT, I, I look like an idiot so uh no god then uh yeah he was dead. <laughs> yep i mean managed to survive managed to make that huge comeback everyone was going crazy over it and it's definitely a, a huge moment too and uh you know just like one quick question for me as well it's like you know was there any reason you know with jet being the prize card you know did you feel that extra motivation to win that full play set of the winner's promo actually no oh damn <laughs> <laughs> you were the one jet in top eight dude this is it was supposed to be the narrative <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, you can, you can put it that way, you can put it that way. Mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, won't, we won't twist your words, man. <laughs> very flexible, very flexible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Is there, is there, so, actually, I have a question. With the way you played, uh, Jet, it was very, very aggressive. Even after, like, mm. it got hit by the ban list. Um, is that the, do you think is that the, that's the correct way to play the deck? Or is it just something you wanted to do, you know, play aggressively, hope your opponent, you know, just takes a bunch of damage and it all goes good for well? Uh, I mean, like, how do you out outscale this? Like, yeah. you can't outscale <laughs> this. Yeah, so you have to kill them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you play a lot yeah, of Gandivas in, in, in Swiss? Uh, no, actually. I think oh, I played really? uh, oh, yeah. one or two, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I just tried to make the game, like, both our hands are very low. And I tried to guard everything of mm. his early, because later on, you have to throw two to three cards anyway. So for the early swing, mm. you, you just throw one, one, one for all his... Uh, because he has no early game, uh, because it's yep. open deck. So I see a lot of people mm. no Brachio first. They only playing Meteor Flare. Right. And Meteor Flare is like mm. turn. Like, I put a Zargon here, then I had the guy trying to Meteor Flare my Zargon by calling it, like, on this corner. I told him, like, you have to call it the same corner to burn the Zargon. Right. Yeah, mm. then, then he's like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. true. I guess I lack guess... of Brachio Force definitely does, does, yeah, does help in this format. Uh, Brachio Force, uh, you should be playing Brachio Force. I, do you, out of curiosity, do you play the, the, the Japanese side of the game as well? Or uh, yeah, yeah, the Gandiva. Ah, uh, yeah, there, 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 there it is. There it is. <laughs> yeah, so there's a lot of experience as well, you know, in this format, I, I guess, right? Uh, I guess. I guess? <laughs> I, I, I don't think Jet was it's like, it's very good in this format anyway, but uh, yeah, this is the cheapest deck, so I just played. Okay, okay, that I works mean, out. And I think that's important. That's important, right? It's like to, to show people that all it takes is 
He has a stride deck set and a, and a couple cards, basically, you know. Add you a, don't add even need Zargons. Add don't even Gungun need Swirls anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I wouldn't play Swirls. Like, what, 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 what do I cut for it? Like, the only cut that I can cut is like Ling. But Ling, like, every time I use Ling, I check top two. Oh, because when I call Ling, I check top two. Two non-triggers. Then I stop soul charging, right? I stop drawing and all this. Because I know my next view is like... Mm. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. So That's I, true. I like right. Then, the only card, like, to change probably Aganya to play the. What do you call it? The. Is it I'm not sure. The, right. The Great Tree, regardless of the. What is 25? Oh, the. Uh, oh, the. Evergreen. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I, I tried to get it from my, like, game store, but. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they didn't have it, so. <laughs> <laughs> What else? Uh, we play more striders because uh, against Ibiza, I wanted to search this a lot. But I right, 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 right. Yeah. Against Willis, that helps a lot. Yeah, I, 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 I have to grab a belly every game, so like it'll be nice to play like extra mm. bellies or extra striders. Like cut again, this, this, this guy is trash. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's usually <laughs> the Vanilla. Right. Yeah, so it really right. puts in a lot of work in this like very specific format, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I love Crucial. <laughs> yeah, 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 Crucial's great. I agree. Crucial's great. All right, Amar, any questions you want to add? Um, not specifically. I think more on feedbacks. Uh, I mean, this is by far the best, you know, Chrono Jet gameplay that I've seen throughout the whole stream. You played it beautifully. Truly. Uh, OT, you know, OT, OT, OT. OT, OT. It's all OT. I mean, <laughs> I mean... You know, the OT chooses the players, right? They wouldn't come out if the player is weak. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> it all boils down to it. You know what? The, the really good, strong players always calls out the trigger, not the other way around. <laughs> well said, well said. But now, man, you, you got yourself the BRO title. You got yourself the, the first place. What's next? Are you looking at some WGPs for the Japanese format, some BCSs? For the English format, what's the plan for the, the rest mm. of this competitive season? Yeah, I just play Bushio events, so like you can just see me almost every Bushio event. Yeah. Alright. Nice, awesome. All so right. people, any any socials or anything you want people to uh, try and find you on? Or you want to stay secret mm. and be the, the secret, secret. secret top dog? Secret, <laughs> secret, secret. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. That has been Vito again, Diva. Thank you so much for your time. And once again, uh, huge congratulations. Any shout outs or people you want to thank for, oh yeah. uh, for this event? I, I would like to thank uh, Chu San. If not, I, uh, I think <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. But uh, without him, I, I can't join the event. Uh, I'll fix your bushi and everything. Yeah, thanks. Nice. <laughs> I'd I like to thank my friends who watched the stream. And uh, some of the competitors uh, actually supported me uh, through Discord. Like, they PM me some encourage, encouraging messages. Uh, to carry their sweets actually but uh, yeah uh, <laughs> yeah i like to thank them as well yeah yes. awesome that's really All sweet right. it's good you see the camaraderie throughout the tournament you know they build build up the friendships and then they they continue to support you so it's always lovely to see and uh kai any anything else you want to close out on ah, i think it's just great watching the games thanks for mm. participating and playing and uh you know, showing us some good 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 jet Good jet matchups. Good jet, good vanguard. Good jet yeah. All right, so that has been Vites. Thank you so much for joining us. And once again, huge congratulations. And so with that, that is going to be it for our AO Region Bushroad Rumble Online 2023 here for the standard format. So it has been a great pleasure, gentlemen, casting with you together and watching these exciting games. Lots of awesome decks. You know, we had our fair share of Zorgas and Hex Orbs and and Gandiva's and Gandiva not getting a single <laughs> dub on stream was definitely <laughs> an interesting uh, happening to watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Gandiva not tier one anymore. <laughs> <laughs> From BDIF to WDIF. It's, uh, <laughs> it really has how, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> how the mighty has yeah. fallen. All right, no worries. You know what? Right after this, you know, we have a lot of Bushiroot events, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, a lot, yeah. Me personally, all of all of us Minervanese, we are going to rise, rise after this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll That's take right. back the we'll take back the throne, yeah? From these Gandivans. Yeah. These Gandivans. <laughs> well Gandivans didn't really do much this <laughs> yeah, they didn't Maybe even they'll do, do much more. Uh, maybe they'll maybe. do more. <laughs> 
in, in maybe NA, I think that's their only mm. chance. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's true. <laughs> NA is their only chance against the five Willistas. It's going to be pretty interesting. But I think yeah. overall it's been a really fun tournament. We've had a lot of cool decks and a lot of really interesting highlights. Let us know in the in the chat or the comments below what your favorite moments of the tournament have been so far as well. I think for me, I definitely enjoyed a lot of the Swiss rounds yesterday and like seeing a lot of the surprise decks. Bruce, and Bruce, the Bruce. Yeah, especially the Bruce. <laughs> like that was actual IRL live action cooking. Like that was stern cooked so hard with that Bruce list and that that stuck with me and everyone else I think too and uh turns out that whole deck is Deer Days available so uh <laughs> might be time to mess around with it a little bit and give it a spin what about you Kai what was your highlight of the tournament uh just me predicting everything <laughs> <laughs> yeah all the lists in your divas predicted that's right yeah no that that's that was uh, this is a throwaway prediction just giving you guys oh, a yeah. chance yeah. And all the other ones that didn't, didn't come true. 7,000 7, <laughs> 7, IQ plays. 100%. Of course. Uh, of but course. yeah, no, it was, it was fun watching all the games and seeing what happens and all the all the results. So I'll uh, be sure. Uh, thank you to everyone who was watching. Thank you to all the players. Thank you to all the casters and the production staff. Uh, hope we have another crazy one for premium in a couple of months. <laughs> That's yeah. right. What about you, Omar? Any, any closing thoughts? Well, I'm definitely going to take a closer look at Loro Neral after this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Such a, such a rogue deck, ain't it? You know what? No one predicted that for the top eight. And, and here it is, you know? Cats have nine lives. Got third place. Got third place, third yeah. Place. <laughs> as, as good as any, right? You know, above Gandiva. So, you know, maybe we have to shift the tier list a bit. You know, just, just make those changes. <laughs> That's right. So I think it's a uh, it's a very interesting you know result. We got some really curious and uh, cool decks that mm. came out of the woodworks, and I think it'll be cool to see how things develop in premium next time around. I believe we'll see you all in November, if I'm not mistaken, for the premium DRO. So it's going to be a very exciting time there <laughs> too. So save the date. Don't forget about it. November 17th or 18th, depending on which time zone you are in for day one so don't forget to sign up on Bushinabi and also of course all your BCS stuff and shop challenges and etc are on Bushinabi too so make sure you check them out as well and don't miss out on this lovely competitive push short card game action but with that gentlemen I think that's going to be it for us thank you so much everyone that tuned in in a few hours I think just checking my, my time over here you can tune in and watch the EU side of the stream as well but that is it for us three. Thank you so much for tuning in to the AO side of the stream and watching for these two days. And we will see you all in November for the premium stage. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.